This video contains adult content not suitable for children. So you guys were we were all our own personal Mount Rushmore now. Are you guys happy about that? Yes. Yeah. Everybody's really happy with the way they're depicted. Yeah. Nobody I'm, has any issues with Nobody it. has yeah. any issues at all. <laughs> I'd be all right. I'd be you actually probably do look the best, Belle. Like for real. Yeah. You look kinda like a lion. I, I am a lion. <laughs> That's racist, racist, bro. That's racist. What is that racist? My mouth. It just feels like my mouth looks <laughs> like a lion. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's only racist. You guys are all lions. Like, like an ape or something. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, yeah. I, I wanted to, you mentioned something earlier about uh, jungle fever. Yeah. That's racist, right? It's racist like, as Yeah, it's yeah. incredibly racist. It's a horrible term that they use forever. But it's it, like, it went by, for years and I like. It was the, the whole movie. Black people, yeah. Black, <laughs> but black people would say it too and that's what confused me. Like, I think because like they, American black people are so far removed from the jungle. It's kind of like, the, okay, so let's get into, uh, we talked a little bit before the podcast, but like. The South Sudan nationalists, the Olympics are going on right now. The Olympics are happening. The South Sudan team in a tune up against the USA, like, it went down to like the last like 30 seconds. It was close. LeBron had to make a shot last minute to win. And then Gilbert Arenas and Paul, Paul Pierce both said some really like insensitive like stuff about like, you know, like they don't even have shoes and Mabumbo and shit like, like stupid shit. And, and so like a lot of like American black people don't, are they're so far removed from Africa that it's like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't really think of, like, the word jungle as being kind of, like, a racist connotation. So racist. Yeah. But then, you know, it caught up, I think, eventually. I mean, anytime you're talking about any culture yeah. in a demeaning way, it could be potentially racist. And, yeah. like, we as black people can also do it, too. No, yeah, yeah. You know I mean? Do you guys say if you're falling in love with a white person, you, like, got good credit fever? <laughs> so. Well, I mean, I don't know. Y'all y'all met me. I, I, I got with Kim to get my get credit. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to get my credit up. That's funny. So that's far, like, so good. You're literally stealing his stage jokes. Jordan. Yeah. Fucking yeah. <laughs> Those are all Jordan's stage jokes. No, no, no. He does have one. Take a like, good credit fee for yeah, sure. He had that. I think you said it during the... Oh, so, uh, Maddie, we had the... Let's talk about that. We've, we've been off. This is our first episode. We are back for back. the first time. Thank season you guys premiere, for... Right? Season premiere of episode five. Uh, we've got the full crew. We couldn't finish the season with the full crew. Courtney, I don't remember what you had going on. Kids I don't or something. Know. I was being hot or something. Yeah, yeah, you're out. She was out uh, trying to find. A, she was actually doing an American Idol audition for New mm-hmm. Grammals. Yeah. We, she was like yeah. having Grammals come in. Who bakes the best cookies? Is it, That's, did we ever find a new one? Fucking bitch. Well, I think it had something to do with your grandma. You're like depressed or something. Yeah. Yeah, depression. Yeah, this is it. my depression. No, you had something going on for real. But like I know because of that, we couldn't do a real send off. So I was like, we need to start the season with a podcast with the four of us. So thank you guys for being here. The four Pokemon Press. We've got Jordan. <laughs> That was an accident. I don't I don't know how that happened. You better introduce him. Yeah, yeah. We have Brian <laughs> Allen West in the building. He's hanging out. He's in the black chair. We've got Courtney Richardson, Richard Edinson in the green chair. In the red chair, we've got Jordan Bell. And then over here on the the, the keys. B's on the keys. Poppy. 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 Uh, no, I'm I'm uh I'm uh, fucking the dude from the blind guy. I, oh, D's. D madness. D madness, yeah. <laughs> D's on the keys. No, the, the cool thing about Kill Tony, I was thinking about this. I know I'm like sporadic and everywhere right now. I'm supposed to be talking about something else. But the, the sporadic thing is when we watched, when I was watching Kill Tony, because I know a lot of comics watch it, uh, everybody for the longest time was like, who are we going to associate it when somebody's like, oh, you're as blind as Ray Charles. You're as blind as, as uh, uh, fucking Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Like uh, mm-hmm. all of our famous black, like black blind people are going away. We got D madness. D madness fucking came in. And he's killing it. I appreciate D Madness for that. But uh yeah, it was a bunch of stupid racist shit. That's what I don't like about the, the Olympics so far. It's all been racism, you know. I think the only I think the only black musician or the only blind white musician we have is Ronnie Millsap. And yeah. I can't even tell you if he's blind. Yeah, I, I was trying to about. think. Uh, like, are there any blind like white musicians or white famous people? I like to think Michael McDonald. Why is that a weird I mean yeah. like like black blind is It is. It's a very famous. Yeah. Yeah, or at least hey. can p- play the fucking. Piano. You know what it is, really? DEI. It was it's DEI back in the day. They were like, we got to get these black blind people to <laughs> get them to business. We got to get them to work. I, Put a I piano probably, in front of what them. What the fuck is DEI? Diversity, equity, inclusion. It's the, oh, the new N word. Oh, the new N word. Yeah. Okay. That. But I. But, but white people can say it still. Did you see that I, picture apparently. I sent you? Which one? It no. was about them making a a blind Barbie. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the, they do the new DEI Barbies. Everybody, there's a blind bar black. It's a blind black or just regular. A uh, black um, Down syndrome. Yeah. And then blind. Thank God. Thank God they're doing this. I really like, needed it. Bl- how is I a blind it. kid gonna see whether the Barbie is blind? I guess uh, there's braille on its face. I don't know. Is, is Shane it's Gillis, blind on the forehead. Is what? Shane Gillis working with Barbie? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I hope so. Can right, we get an right. Uncle Danny yeah. Barbie? <laughs> Tiny grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's great. Like midnight. Speaking of uh, Shane Gillis, um, he did win a very prestigious award while we were out. Cracker of the day. CT ESPN by AB. And he even acknowledged it by saying thank you. So that's pretty nice. I appreciate that. He actually admitted that he is the cracker of the day. And then uh, in the comment section, AB said, you're welcome. And then somebody put this picture. <laughs> <laughs> this is the equivalent of winning an Emmy. That's a funny response. Then. Yeah. So while we were gone, the greatest Kill Tony episode of, of, of all time happened with Shane Gillis as uh, as uh, the man. Everybody knows. There we are. That's a... Uh, and uh, Adam Ray as uh, Biden. So he killed. It was, I mean, did you were you ever watch that episode at all? No. I'm I'm gonna be real with you. I've never watched Kill Kill Tony. Yeah. No. When Good. you have time and you're not doing anything, just watch it. it this episode specifically is really. Good. It'll help you okay. write. But you got to decide if you want it to help you write or write for you. Yeah, because we, <laughs> we do have a lot of problems that are yeah. open mic. I'm gonna be real. That's my biggest fear. And like I. Since we've started doing a lot of stand up, and this may sound ass backwards, yeah, yeah. I've watched less people stand up because one, I hear people stand up a lot now. Yeah. Um, and like, I, I think more so, I'm like, okay, I know my basis of things I want to talk about. So let me just make that funny. Yeah. Um, so like, I, it, I, I but I, I watch a lot of comedians or listen to a lot of comedians talk about their their structuring of comedy yeah yeah and jokes and shit talking about comedy is better than watching comedy when you're writing comedy yeah yeah i mean we we watch a lot of comedy every week at our open mic at uh cooper's pub check it out yes yep shameless plug shameless plug actually shameful i'm put put the shame on there actually have a a graphic somewhere i threw the commercial in your house today so like oh yesterday (laughs) that's what i'm talking about yeah i guess i'll just i'll throw this do you have t-bar do you have t-bar shout us out or no i wish i could have got that bro (laughs) wish i wish i could have got that that dijak interview was crazy though and it upped our numbers and shit we're like i mean you guys are on the charts or like top 150 in the in in the u.s right now for wrestling podcasts so like I think we were at 122 last I looked, but fuck yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm around the balls. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to get to the top 50. <laughs> if we're talking wrestling, we're gonna fucking talk wrestling. Let's do it. If we're gonna do it, when, right. they, took a, when they took a shot at my hero, and they tried to kill the next president of the United <laughs> States. Enough was enough. And I said, let Trumpomania run wild, brother. Let Trumpomania rule again. Let Trumpomania make America great again. Oh, dude, I'm fucking when fired they took up. A shot. I bet. I'm fired up, dude, right now. I just, I'm fucking fired up. I cut to you flipping him off already during the. All right, cool, 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 cool. People need to know you're flipping you, him off. You know I, when he was doing that though, he he felt a morsel of what he felt when he was like in Madison Square Garden. Oh stuff. yeah, yeah oh, but dude. he still was wrapped up. Uh, he was... Uh, man. That dude is so into his own <laughs> ego. I'm happy that I hated him before this moment. Yeah, like so, like. I mean, it doesn't make me hate him anymore. Just, I got a picture of Trumpomania just in case you wanted to know what it looks like. I mean, it's about to run wild. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be real. If we're gonna talk politics and shit like that, like, I don't like. I, I'm still not sold that like Kamala is gonna beat beat out Trump. Kamala. Like, <laughs> come, you mean Mamala? Mamala ain't gonna win. I don't know. She, I think she could win. I don't know, man. It's just gonna be tight. And this, this shit out. is crazy. I don't know if you guys. She said. uh so during during our break, uh, we, Sleepy Joe did get removed. He got aborted. Um, uh, before I become vice president, before I was elected out. as a U.S. senator, I was the uh, attorney general of California. Before that, I was a prosecutor, took down predators, fraudsters, and cheaters. So I know Donald Trump's type. In this campaign, I will put my record against him. 
Get it, girl. She's ready. Uh, what did you did you say? He took himself out. Yeah. No, he didn't. We all know the truth. <laughs> I'm like, oh my dude, I'm not gonna let that pass. We gotta talk about the is fact that, that the shirt is that the shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah, right. Biden. Fucking Biden didn't don't. resign himself. He he's like this face. This picture is why he got removed. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> he just looks like. God, he looks scary. Fate, yeah, he's just begging for them. Just please let me go. <laughs> please let me go home. I don't know if I can hold on to these eyebrows anymore. <laughs> these eyebrows, <laughs> his eyebrows are gone, dude. He needs to watch That's, one of those. Uh, he just wants to sit on his porch and watch the chickens or something. Yeah, yeah. That's the face I make when my wife tells me I can't go to the reservoir anymore. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> it's the face you make when, like, normally, like, really at his age, he just wants to start, like, deteriorating and saying racist shit again, but he can't. He's, like, he's like trying to hold on for dear life not to say something racist. Yeah. I love, I love stroking a little black leg. Okay? <laughs> they used to I, rub my legs. I, I, I just want to go love. back to smelling the well, children. He, he told me that, and I don't know how true it is. Like it's I said, like it, it so, kind of sounds like right-wing propaganda, but you said he was taking a shower with his kid? No, that's not propaganda. That's a fact. Uh, legit. So his daughter... Well, even uh, even in, so, we were talking a little bit about the tr the the Trump Biden fucking kill Tony episode. He talked about it on there. His daughter Ashley, she had a a, a journal or a diary she kept that kind of got it it got misplaced and then it, and somebody found it and it was verified that it was real. She was writing that at the age of thirteen, Biden was taking showers with her still. Ew. Dude, my daughter is eight. I wouldn't take a shower with my daughter at four. It's inappropriate. Yeah. I never once took a shower with my daughter. That's what I'm saying. Did take a shower with Hunter when he was a baby. Boy, same Different. sex, you're rocking the same material. It's fine. Like, my daughter's definitely seen some little baby wieners because my kids will, my little boy will just pull up the himself naked right now. Yeah. So, like, she knows there's another there's another appendage out there. Right. But at the same time, like, your dad? No, that's fucking take him, weird. Take him a shower with your daughter's weird. Yeah. I Did you ever not. take a shower with your daughter? Because that's weird. With no, my with daughter's? Your son. Yeah, I took baths. I took showers with my daughter. That needs to be looked at because that's weird. <laughs> Why? It's just weird. I mean, I took it a shower with my son, but young. it wasn't weird. Yeah, yeah. It was when they were <laughs> She's taking it seriously yeah. now. He's being ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just joking. I just, I just admitted that I took showers with my son when he was I a baby. Know. <laughs> Yesterday. No, I, was thinking, <laughs> yeah. I, re I remember. I still remember when my dad used to make me take baths with him, and it's, it grosses me out. Yeah. Yeah, but the the I mean, I think with him? there's. Intent. It wasn't creepy though, was it? He didn't like. No. Because some, I know dads. I'm friends with dads that took showers and stuff with their daughters when their daughters were like babies. And to me, it's not weird, but I just never did it because I was I felt weird about it. Yeah. But I don't look at them as being weird because like it's all about. I mean, it's your child. You gotta yeah. be a sick fuck to. When Cass started pointing at my boobs is when I told him that he's not taking baths yeah. anymore. I think I honestly think, and maybe it's just like the power dynamic situation, but I think like moms, it's different. It's just different with moms. Dads, it's like, I feel like you you kind of have to make sure you're not doing weird shit because it just feels weird. Like to be like a naked man around a little girl just feels weird. But like if you're a naked mom around your boy. It's like whatever. Like, who gives it's, a shit? Yeah. like I don't know. You came out of there. You do, like you came out of your dad, but it wasn't the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just out of his balls. Right. You were living there for a minute. See, I yeah. just talk with Matt all the time because he just moved in and I don't ever wear pants. Yeah. And he's like, you have to wear pants. There's kids out there. I'm like, they're mine. I have a whole bit about my mom, naked mom. You guys yeah. have heard of it. I, I would ran never that be the that naked. I don't think that's normal. I don't think it's inappropriate. I think it's normal. I mean, you come out of your mom. So, like, to me, it's not a right. big deal. And my mom walking, like, as a zombie from, like, her bedroom. It was a long, fucking treacherous walk from her broom to the bathroom. We had one bathroom and, like, yeah. seven people in the house. Like, you kind of have to do what you have to do. Right. I mean, I've seen my mom shit in a bucket. Because yeah. she couldn't make it in time. She had IBS. She had to go. She Me had and your go. mom have a lot of common. I'm, I would open the door and my mom, and my mom would be like, and I'm like, what? I'd open the door. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't use the JC. Don't use the GDs. <laughs> Don't use GDs. Will you help me? And I'm like, yeah, I got you, mom. But I think that was the that was like that was the perks. The perks got to her. You know, that fucks making them fuck up your stomach. Dude. Perkies will get you. <laughs> Perkies will get you. She lived through Wagner, so she definitely... She thrived through Wagner. Your, uh, your mom was a SoundCloud rapper before <laughs> yeah, it was she, cool. She was on fucking, she was on a lean. Yeah. <laughs> your mom was selling you weed when you were a little kid. <laughs> no, she would never do that. I did, I did, there was some, I don't know if you guys watched the the one debate with that between Biden and Trump, but there was some subliminals that I really need to talk about. I don't know if you guys saw the subliminal that got. PP. <laughs> how will you change, how will your ch climate change plan impact the economy? PP. <laughs> that made me so happy to see. I was like, I'm horny. 
We the people, but somebody may have turned it into PP. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> we the people. We the people. But uh, I'm just happy that once this is all over, they'll be able to sit down and just smoke a bowl, blow bag, fucking blow bag, and have a good time. I love They're how probably doing that right now. Yeah, they yeah. probably are. Yeah. And that's a th- that's a thing. Trump. It, it was like shown. It was supposed to be like from the left. This like huge revelation that um, he uh, donated towards. Uh, Kamala Harris's past campaigns when she was running for other stuff. Yeah, whole uh, five thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, six thousand dollars, and it was like, the, yeah, because they all have somewhat of a respect and all like each other behind closed doors. But yeah. when it comes to, it's like it's incestuous. It too. is. It's and all incestuous. Hillary and Bill and all of them were friends. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were all homies with Trump. I mean, they were all hanging out at Epstein. Fucking. They all were. They all were. And it's like, it's crazy to me when somebody's like, oh, well, uh, Trump was there. But once he found out that uh, Epstein was bad, he stopped hanging out. It's like, you've definitely been cheated on before. (laughs) That's that's (laughs) a new bit. (laughs) Like, you definitely, yeah, it's a new bit I'm working on. But (laughs) if you believe that, it's like, you've definitely found someone fucking another person in another person's house and they told you that they were like staying there all night making sure they weren't sick and yeah. you believed it it's like, nah girl I've, been that's there. just my friend <laughs> yeah it's just <laughs> you've got what i need <laughs> just... <laughs> no i was like i i saw i was like once kamala became uh the the nominee i thought oh man look at this beautiful mosaic of kamala harris made out of all the black men she locked up and kept in prison past their release dates for jail labor never forget this is uh, a fact a white person definitely made that <laughs> Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I was working on it all night. Um, no, but it's a, it's a fact, man. Some of the shit that she did is so fucking egregious. Like, I don't I don't think there's a lot of like positivity around her compa- campaign right now. And I think a lot of it comes from like, I mean, it would be a first for the nation to have the first black woman. It's hilarious that we would have the fir- we had the first black woman before the first white woman because it's like. We st- like we all hate white women, you know. Sorry, Corey. <laughs> I, mean, I, I also hate white women. <laughs> we all hate, we all hate white women at the end of the day. I don't know. It's, it's, Until it's, Tina Fey okay. runs, we're screwed. Yeah, okay. right. <laughs> should, should just run as Palin. That's how gonna, fucking stupid we are. I was there gonna. I kept wanting to make a Maya Rudolph joke with Kamala Harris, but. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> There's been so many weird, like I, I, the, 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 the Maya Rudolph thing. I think they, somebody. I mean, that's she's played her before. Uh, yeah, yeah, she killed it. Like, but I don't know if they're gonna want her to play her again because she's kind of the character is kind of a dumb, dumbass. That's the, the. It's like it's Peter Griffin. It's like yeah. Peter Griffin, dumbass but girl. Mm-hmm. Like man, like fucking stupid shit. I don't know. Like, there's been so many crazy political things that have gone on since we've I mean there was a shot at the president we all know about that shots um, shots fired at the president what, hey real quick what can't we say right now I don't know I mean you can say whatever you want say whatever. I'm just I, you I'm know, just playing. I'm just to me was that a tenacious D yeah, yeah, yeah okay. he's trying to cow gas it up I'm not gas. trying to cow gas you up Shit, bro, but, you know uh, this is uh, this. if you did it I was going to post this up and be like what would you do <laughs> if you were there <laughs> I actually put pictures of my girl and my kid on here. I did not mean to do that. If I was at a Trump rally, I would question <laughs> myself. Beep. Just, Beep. Yeah. I did see this. We were talking a little bit before the podcast about edging. Um, Harris edging <laughs> Trump and new poll conducted after Biden's withdrawal. They knew what they were doing with this. Like they said Harris edging Trump and Biden's withdrawal. They knew what they were doing yeah. with that, right? Like, I'm not the only one. But I did. I did find a way to make a little video. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. <laughs> I had to repurpose. That's an old one, but I had to repurpose it with the edging thing because I'm like, it's too funny not to. to. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, we got to. Um, yeah. So the the open mic's been going well. Yeah. 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 You guys, you guys been enjoying the open mics? Well, it's yeah. okay. It's okay. No, I'm just a little bit. Yeah. It's all right. Who's your? Uh, we did a, a, a nice little thing this last week where I did interviews. Everybody asked them questions, and I'm still cutting that together. But uh, um, we've had a ton of comics come through. Is there anybody particularly that you're like excited for when you see them? Like maybe somebody from out of town. We got some cool Kokomo. Ones. I like I like Stephen Riley. Yeah, I like he's very like, funny. He's very, very nice guy. Always does good. Always is working on stuff, and you can tell he's just like a he's your like roundabout he's a stand-up comedian yeah, yeah. what about you you got anybody that's uh i love i love michael howard yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, that goes without saying oh yeah, my yeah, yeah, kokomo yeah. I, I, I we can't shout him out enough because i, I just love him so. <laughs> well the good news about michael howard is he will be at harvest fest which we are doing yeah, yeah. yeah. we 
we've got some stuff coming up. I don't know if you guys know about this, but Harvest Fest 10 was announced while we were on break, and we've got bands, we've got fucking uh, music, we've got we've got com- comedy, we've got vendors, we've got food. It's going to be a lot, and we actually had sponsors this year, and I will list them out. Fenty Fades, uh, we've got Creative Curiosities, Outhouse Records, The Doom Room, AA Cards and Collectibles, The Coco Bell Press, Kim the Chemist, <laughs> and Ace of Fades, and O. T S O S T. I always want to say O S T service. And I just want to say Kim the chemist is going to be out there making DMT. <laughs> oh good. I'm she's excited. a good she's great at what she does. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she is absolutely great. She's <laughs> she, uh, y'all y'all thought the name was about style. She's cooking, <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna go through. We do have Sean D, Pierce Clot, Michael Howard, Greg <laughs> Lindberg, Alexa Eden, Davey <laughs> Moonmall, Jacob <laughs> Harder, Jordan Granger, Brian West Jr., and your headliner. Dan Alton, yeah. which is going to be great. Nice. The only person we're not going to have is the elephant in the room over here. Why I got to be an elephant? Why you got to name me after animals? That feels racist. <laughs> you no, know I, exactly why. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't sorry, be I, there. I'll be, at, I'll be there the <laughs> night before yeah. at the, the other thing that yeah. I probably can't say not right yet. now. Not but, yet. But, but, you know. Yeah. But, it's coming. It's forthcoming. It's, but don't come. Don't. Oh, Do I'm going to come. I'm going to come. <laughs> Speaking of people that are going to come and... Somebody's going to make us come. Our headliner for the show, Dan Alton. Very, very, very excited for this guy. I saw that they talked about him a little bit on uh, the Outhouse Super Show. If you guys go check that out whenever you want to. I have an episode on there, and I've heard a rumor that somebody, a couple people. Oh. You have an episode as well. Courtney yeah. has I've been on there. Yeah. She was the first one on there. But also, a couple people have some uh, standing, uh, invi- some some dates. I'm doing, yeah. I'm doing the Harvest, or I'm doing uh, the Outhouse. Outhouse Super Show the week before... Harvest Fest. Harvest Fest. And then, but I'm a little worried. Are we going to be at Terre Haute? I don't know. I'll let you know for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I think, you I think you'll be able to get it. They're usually done by two, so we can probably leave after if we have to. Okay. Yeah. And I think you've got a. You're coming up. Yeah. Uh, we scheduled a date. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah. I, it, it's August 3rd. I, which yeah. That's not when that's going to come out. No, it'll like, come out that next week. I don't know. August There's nothing 6th. cool. Nothing else cool going on that day. So, like, you know. <laughs> But I mean, other than like, uh, but I can I I'm a shout out wrestling stuff yeah, yeah. because uh, I I just want to shout out Emerge Wrestling down in Columbus, Indiana. They're running a show uh, August third, so if you're into wrestling, you should go check that show out. Yeah, and if you are excited about Harvest Fest, I do have this uh, little graphic here. I'll pull up. Hey. Boom! That's everybody who's going to be there. Yes, we did get a woman. Uh, no black people though, just like SummerSlam. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear about that? that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's been a big talking point. What do you mean? There's not. A, I think some. I think one of the things I read was there's not a single black uh, wrestler on, on the card main, for summer. On the main roster card, there's not one. Oh, there's there is not. Yet, no, not right? a single black wrestler. There. That says what they still have they matches say that to about make. Triple H. Though. Look, so I I don't know. Um, I I've been talking about this. I did a, a a thing called the smoke sesh for in your house. Check it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Um. And what we talked about was that the fact that like. Triple H kind of does book races and like it is kind of weird like how he's he had all these like really highly acclaimed black champions and now all of them are in tag teams or in the middle card or just some weird shit and the only thing I can correlate is that Triple H has a German cross <laughs> at his logo so I don't know <laughs> that is true you I know? mean it is called a white wrestling entertainment right I mean I, did I misread that yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like I don't know. <laughs> have to hit up the NWE. He's like, we're gonna, we're gonna make wrestling great again. That's what he said. <laughs> well, yeah. So, um, and I mean, back to politics and shit. You know, Linda McMahon was like, uh, right behind Trump at the RNC and shit yeah. like that. Like, uh, oh, I they're mean, close. They're very, very close. Uh, I mean, I, wasn't she? Hold on, wasn't she a cabinet position during the tr- first Trump administration? She was. What was it? Department of Interior. Uh, uh, I don't know. Department, uh, department of, of opening a can of whip ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Department of wrestling. They start. We're starting a department of wrestling. It's gonna be beautiful. You're gonna love it. That's yes. pretty good. I've been working hard on it. Yeah. Like I still, I still feel like I have some. I'm not as good as Shane. Shane fucking kills. You're not That's gonna. Like, Everybody's nope. good as the god. Okay. I'm basically just doing my shitty impression of Shane doing Trump. His his impression. <laughs> it's beautiful. We're gonna have a wonderful time. That's all it is. It's just holding off time. Don't fucking look at me like that. Do your best Biden impression right now, Courtney. Go. <laughs> All right, she wins. Fuck it, I give up. It's pretty hey, good. I can't do it. It's pretty good. Just say all you gotta do is say, "Oh, that's awesome, for me. That's awesome, for me. That's it. I'm Joe Biden and I'm gay." Corn Pop like was a bad dude. Corn Pop was a bad. I just dude. like saying that. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, did you guys? Secret Service has been taking some L's, ever, obviously, since uh, the whole situation. But before the shot was ever fired, before the Secret Service department head was fired herself, before the this actually happened. This is crazy. President Biden's Secret Service agent robbed at gunpoint during Shut California trip. Up. This actually happened. This actually did. This is real. Um, yeah. So one of the secret. So they're just taking L's left and right. Oh man. Damn. Do you yeah. see how hard they roasted the fucking head of uh, the Secret Service? Oh dude. Was, oh. They man. roasted her harder than Brian Allen West. Oh my god, bro. Every every fucking Congress person was like, y "You should you should quit. You should quit your job." <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe quit at life. I mean, how do you fuck suck. that up, though? How do you fuck that up? No. It was a woman, though, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. There's your answer. I'll, why aren't they roasting the FBI as hard, though? Like, <laughs> well, I, don't, don't, aren't they a part of these events? Aren't they part of this shit, too? Yeah. Like, part of the security system well, and shit like true. that? The, the Trumpsters think that they were in on it. Ah. They think that they wanted Trump gone, gone, so they had everything set up. And there's a whole lot of conspiracies. For uh, there's con the deep yeah, state scary as fuck, y'all. That's all. I'm say. I mean, I don't know. He gonna win though, I guess. Because how do you un almost die? Like you like that close to like that close to. I like, don't think he cut himself. I, <clears throat> he bladed. He bladed. I mean, I'm not saying I. The thought of him gigging himself makes mad sense to me, and, and like he's got all these wrestlers up there with him. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Hey, it makes yeah. sense. I saw a conspiracy theorist like he has access to to fake blood because he worked in the WWE, so it's got to He's got. So, no, one. I don't think the blood was fake. He just it, fuck, it took a lot of aspirin. <laughs> that's what somebody said. I was like, who who gave this person? The he gigged himself. I, I, gigged that's him. not even how that worked. Bro. You know, that's how people are. The fucking building. He hit the gig, Circle. turned around, super kick, pop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those headphones hate that mic. For you you can't tell me, though. That, oh, sorry, sorry. You're all right. You can't tell me, though, um, that fucking shot. That That is the most WWE-esque thing ever, though. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. it's perfect. I, he's, I mean, he's a gamesman. Yeah. He's we have trying to, to get people to fight. Yeah, he's that's how. That's how somebody on the undercard gets on the fucking in the title shot. <laughs> <guy. laughs> well, no, no, that's what Becky Lynch did. Yeah. I mean, that was the thing, man. Right? <laughs> it, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Bloody nose. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Well, broken up. Yeah, the, yeah. The sealed. Yeah, concrete. I knew that. Oh my I god! Had. I just realized the Biden family is the Von Erics. That's why they the have so many problems. That's, the, the, that's why Bo's dead. Oh man, <laughs> oh, that's, fucked fucked up. Up. that's fucked up. Shit. Biden will be gone here in I know, a, a couple year days. Or two. Yeah. I mean, we all could be. I could be gone. Yeah, yeah. After We're the gone. show, before the show. Haven't what much what happens if Biden dies before the end of the election? Because I feel like that's Mama also a, a over. Pa I mean, <laughs> Mama will have to take over. Yeah. Does that fuck her shit up though? Does that? If, no, no. Then they blame everything. She can still run two terms. I, I mean. You know, I, I I think that you have up to 10, 10, 10 years technically if you don't. You can only get elected twice, but you can, you know what I'm saying? You uh, could do, like, I think there's been somebody besides Roosevelt who was 10 years. I'm going to call it, I'll call it right now. Trump will win this election coming up, but then in four more years, we're getting Kamala and Obama. I swear. Michelle. Oh, no. Michelle. Oh, yep. I swear know, to God, man. I'm calling it now. You mean Big Mike? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fucked up. That whole situation, that, fucked and up that's too. what like cracks me up. It's because it's like it's the it's those far right racist assholes like number one go to. But I would fuck Michelle Obama. I would. I thought I, I think she's attractive. I would fuck her. I'm not just saying that either. Can you also just say that about Kamala? I did say Kamala. that about Kamala. I've talked about trans porn too. So <laughs> you don't know where I'm headed. You have no idea what did I'm doing. You just also say you're really into I mean, older fat women. Yeah. He's into powerful women. That's really what this is. He's just that you have a power. You you want to be degraded, so you want to be peed on. If you can run Senate or make me <laughs> chocolate chip cookies, you are good to go in my book. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is why he's got the pillow, guys. Yeah. No boner. Yeah, no boner. But every <laughs> boner check. You have to do a boner <laughs> check every once in a while. <laughs> Oh shit! You have the opposite affliction of um, the guy from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Everybody's freaking out. Anthony Kiedis about yeah. dating the young girl, and then like I also have this. This is an interesting. Did you guys hear about this one? That's disgusting. Fucking Bill Belichick's dating a twenty-four-year-old cheerleader. Good for him. Like who gives a shit? You know what good, I mean? Good for him. How man. old is he? He's probably like sixty-five. I mean, it's he's, about time he smiled. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, he's smiling. Oh, he's yeah, smiling. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say. What, nah. what is she seeing in the other the money? Is that it? Money, power. It's it's kind of the same thing that you're talking about. If you if you and let's say Michelle, if it, if I was in that was situation, like, I would just I would do it. It's over with. Yeah, you'd do it. 
like if yeah. like if some what if you didn't know they were famous and then somebody told you after would it would it still affect you the same way or was it is it more like a, you have to know that they're famous? No, I just want their money. Oh, okay. Like okay. you had sex and after that he was like, "Hi, I'm Danny Masterson." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Horse. I saw this this shirt. Uh, it doesn't say what you think it says. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to say roping. <laughs> Danny Mas. Not an O. <laughs> it's supposed to be an O. I'm just saying. Is it? Yeah, I Is think somebody it? might have doctored it, but still, let's not talk about that. Speaking of doctored photos, you guys see this one? This is really happy birthday, soul. <laughs> these things have been taken over the internet. Have you guys noticed these? Oh, dude, they're killer. Yeah. yeah. They make me laugh so fucking hard. Like, I have this one as well. This one's like, happy birthday, baby girl. And it's like a baby. Like, why the fuck is that baby underwater with a full apparatus? <laughs> <laughs> and a fucking cake with like, candles on fire. People are like, yes, Jesus, save like 3.1K. Like, people, Jesus this shit Christ. just works. Like, people, people will react to it. <laughs> they will keep it. I'm like, this is so dumb. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about genitals. You guys ready to go down genital lane? Always. It's been a minute since we've went down genital lane. Let's talk about this. Um, Chloe Kardashian reveals she's downsized her larger vagina in candid confession. So, is this a, is this a thing, How do Courtney? You downsize what the your fuck vagina? does that even mean? I think she removed some hood hood and labia. Like she moved some. Lip. Yeah, yeah. She removed some. She was a little too lippy. Oh. So she had. She had Why a is she on telling her. everybody? Probably because she's like, listen, I don't. I made my nose smaller and my pussy smaller. <laughs> she, I mean, it's insane, dude. Courtney, tell me, like, is this something that you think women should do? Or sure. is it is it, they should just keep what they have? I, I you're the I, only woman I, on the panel. That's why we're I, asking you. I don't know. If you want to change your vagina, do it. Who yeah. cares? I yeah. did hear something about this. She donated her hood to Caitlin. <laughs> God damn. No, I was going. <laughs> that makes sense. Caitlin Clark, Clark though. Not the I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go have my vagina cut up. Just, yeah. I just think what well, you gonna say. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say this would be a good time to shout out Lamar because <laughs> obviously he wrecked that shit. And she yeah, said that. for sure. Yeah. Lamar, yeah. Oh, she's been with a couple of Tristan pretty, Thompson. Tristan yeah, Thompson. Got, uh, he definitely. Well, got it. that's what it is. It's just it's she just needed it rejuvenated. <laughs> she just needed it. That shit was blown out. <laughs> Drizz, the Drizzard hit it too. Oh, and you know uh, he's working on. <laughs> yeah, and there's video he proof. Got hold. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the big three. Big D and there's video proof. <laughs> there is hope for us though. After all, I, I don't know if you guys saw this. Uh, new study finds men with smaller dicks make more money. So, why am I broke? <laughs> why am I broke? This makes sense. Yeah. It, if it said more funnier, it would be yeah, accurate. It's true. Yeah, that's true. More funnier, for sure. That's the correct use yeah, of that. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of grammar, um, well, that ain't shit, Dick. Grammar. Never mind. I won't do that joke again from the roast. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I did find this hilarious video. What do you guys think of this right here? No way. Wait, yeah, what? I'm gonna turn down the music because I don't think it needs to be there. But oh, okay. it's a Kegel routine that women are doing. Uh, instead, I mean. Let's 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 come Slurp? up with a name like Slurp Slurpa Slurp. So it is putting it right up in yeah. there. It's like you're trying to suck the the juice up. Go get a bottle of juice and a string. <laughs> She's like, let's hold string. on. It's not a string. It's, it, it, a, a pipe tube. Yeah, it looks like straw. Febreze. Yeah. Would it be embarrassing if you're like the, your first day and you just can't get it to move and you're like, I'm trying so hard and, it, I can't. and you accidentally it's because it's in your butthole. Yeah, yeah, yeah the whole time they're like. Mm -hmm. They got the one trans girl in there. She's got it in her butt. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I could do it too. Let me figure what it out. Sphincter just you going crazy. Suck it up too far. Sphincter going wild though. Uh, I could do it. I'm gonna I try think, it. I think we should all try it. Like men, our version of Kegels is like the fucking whoop whoop whoop. That's just Kegels. That's just male Kegels. Pull it up, put yeah. it down, pull it up. Pull it and you, just gotta, you know what I'm talking about? I know, mm -hmm. I know you've seen that before. It's got to be something got to be something that you've been a part of in your life. <laughs> yeah. Has it? Have you guys had any bad dates recently? <laughs> what? We're all not single, so it makes no sense. I was I just trying to Pop a balloon yes. if you're not single. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I saw, you guys know Theo James? Have you guys seen uh, the old Divergent films? He was like one. He was like the main guy in that, and then he was in uh, what's that fucking show? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess up the name of the show because it's the, it's on um, uh, HBO Max. It's the one where they're like on vacation, and it's like the different destinations. I can't fucking remember the name of it. But anyway, he has a nude scene in it that apparently Theo James said a woman pooped in his bathtub after a first date. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Well, well, maybe he sucked. Yeah. Well, I, apparently he's. I mean, or based on the show, he's got a huge hog. Oh. Well, I mean, he, that's what he gets for going on a date with Amber Heard. 
Did you see that she's j- now dating Jason Momoa? Who? That's Amber not true. Heard. That's not real. That's clickbait. <gasps> she's right wing. She was at the RNC, though. Did it's you guys not see real. That? Was she? She was at the RNC for real. Yeah, she came on stage and did like a shitty rap. Uh, yeah. mm. You're joking. I swear, she's like Christian now. Remember, you guys know about that? She's Christian now. Wait, is it a real thing? She yeah, was, she was at the RNC for real. She's like, God is good, God is great, that kind of shit? Or it really? was more like, you know, you know, Jesus loves you. Yeah. Jesus is great. Yeah. She basically just did a Kanye song from uh, Jesus is King. Oh. I saw my boy K.I. to the motherfucking D-R-O-C-K was rocking it out. American Badass. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Bob? <laughs> he goes by Bob. It's Bob. 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 Undertaker wasn't there. I was happy to see that. I mean, I'm he was there in spirit. I'm he was. He was there in spirit. He yeah. was him, Jericho, Jericho's wife. Jericho's wife was probably legit there. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 100%. But you know who 100% wasn't there? The greatest wrestler of all time, who also deleted this hilarious post. The face I make when I ask my wife for some hawk to a time. I Did you see that. what he said? <laughs> he <laughs> got in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I got in the doghouse, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. He's the same face. He's like, he's the man, dude. I love it. But he deleted the post. It's just hilarious. So we did miss Hawk Tua while we were gone. Do you guys want to do we want to put any I thought we talked okay. about it? No. I feel like we mm-hmm. talked about it. No, it was there's Wait, no we way. Haven't, it yeah. came out like in June. We haven't done a podcast since like May. I don't know. There's a lot. Maybe we've we talked about it at a meeting. Maybe. Well, we've talked a lot that. about Hawk Tub. I mean, it's been the topic du jour for the last like. Did we have months. anything? I'm legit asking because I can't remember. Do we have anything go viral while we were out? We got. There's a shit ton of stuff. That's why we're. As I'm trying to go through a couple of things left and right here. Obviously, the shit with the po- politics was pretty heavy. Um, we've got the stuff with the Hawk Tua, Obviously, um, we've got. I mean, I do have this this graphic of all the people that come to our comedy show. I'm just kidding. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I did not mean for that to happen. That was not yeah. guys. Yeah. Please, um, please don't send complaints to yeah. Cooper's Pub. Yeah. Please. <laughs> please no. What? Now my headphones did it. Oh. Uh, don't send complaints to Cooper Pub. Do not come. Yeah. Do not come. I looked over there. My camera used to be there. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. I'm going to come hard. <laughs> you guys you are sound like Vince saying that. That, yeah. was, that, was, that was definitely McMahon. <laughs> that, that's, what, that's the third part. Don't come. Do not come. And then, I'm going to come. And then and then they're like, who did it? And it's just, right. it was me, Austin. It was me. It was me. Oh, oh. oh my God. You don't even know. You don't, you're you're a now watcher of wrestling. You don't know, know. about people. She watches you say love wrestling. She's not a WWE gal. Are you? Mm-mm. How can you watch AEW right now? It's ass. I don't <laughs> know. It makes me so sad. It's such ass. You, you y'all seriously watch that? <laughs> I mean, I I'm just saying. I do, but <laughs> I mean, I do too. But like, not like I. I it is ass. Normally, it's, it's not been great. No, I know, I know. I did see one of the funniest. <laughs> this is. This is going to get me canceled a thousand percent, but this popped up on my shit and I was dying laughing. We are all laughing at the prospect of President Kamala, but we must remain steadfast and never, ever, 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 ever underestimate how women are. <laughs> it's so true, though, because I mean, not the retard part. Of it, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's the Lord. And then right underneath it is is the the kicker, like. I know it's superficial, but I like that Kamal can dance and that she looks incredible for her age. She looks like the kind of person you like to have a margarita or two with. So, like, she was wrong. Uh, yeah. That's perfect. That's your reasoning for voting for somebody. Her vibes are so much better. She just has great vibes. She can dance, actually. So All these yeah. same people are going to forget forget what, what fucking election day is. Yeah, yeah, they're not, not going to know. Oh, my God, yeah. I slept oh through Oh, my God, it. for real? Oh, uh, Courtney, I actually did have my own... Uh, this was about the, what you said earlier, oh. Mattel and Ville's first blind Barbie and first black Barbie with Down syndrome, which is great. I love the blind, I love the blind Barbie. But, you know, I, I get what you're saying about, like, it does make no sense to be like, uh, are, blind, are blind kids, do they even give a fuck? But also, like... Did you see it? If you have, like, a blind mom, maybe. It'd be nice to have a Barbie that's like, it reminds me of my mom. I'll tell you someone who didn't I mean, see she's it. she's not going to see it. It was kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You guys both were getting to it. We both did it at the same time. <laughs> you guys just fucking... You I just had to. You guys just Eiffel Towered that joke. <laughs> yes. 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 It was beautiful. I love the way you did it. <laughs> I walked into the room. I said, that was beautiful. It was beautiful when I walked in the room. Uh, sp- <laughs> Speaking of Eiffel Tower, yeah, you get in on that shit. Oh yeah, what happened? Oh, just uh, the Paris Games. Oh, the Paris, the Olympics. Yeah, yeah we can go. Yeah. That. I'm down with that. There's a lot of good shit happening at the Olympics today, Sunday. Uh, the the boys did win. The the U.S. swimming is killing it. U.S. swimming, yeah. Katie Ledecky yeah. lost though. I saw that. Well, she you got bronze. 
Yeah, but she she's like the greatest swimmer of all time for females. So when she doesn't do gold, it's weird. Man, she'll be okay. She's one medal away from like breaking some ass records. So I know she'll be fine. I have a picture somewhere. Oh, this is the one I did. I did see this one. Mamala, uh, Mamala was out there with uh, the boys. That's not a good picture for no. her to take. She's out there. She doesn't realize what she's done. <laughs> she doesn't realize what she's no. done. Well, couch, <laughs> insert couch. Insert couch. I did like this. So when one of the tune-ups coming up to the uh, two Pacers players playing against each other for yeah. their countries, which is pretty crazy, Andrew Nimhard and uh, Tyrese Halberton, who doesn't get any playing time for the for the for the the, the USA team at all today. He really? didn't. No, they're not. They haven't put him in. He started off with twenty minutes, and then fifteen, and then ten, and then they took him out. He hasn't been in for like the like two of the tune-ups and the first game. And it's so weird because if you look at the scores, the until the the one today, the scores were like we were barely winning. Like I'm like they need a fucking floor general. Could some of, some of it could be from like preventing injuries and shit though. I I'm wondering because there's a part of me that thinks he might be injured because they also didn't play Jason Tatum at all, which is like what? Yeah, why would you? I don't know. know. We have an embarrassment of like. Great players. It's like hard as fuck to get any type of continuality with these guys. This is the most exciting conversation I've ever had. <laughs> just, like, oh just, just ask why they didn't enter Jalen Brown. Yeah. Jalen Brown was a pretty big deal. I yeah. 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 Kind of dumb that they don't have Jalen Brown when they took Derek White. But Derek White did play well today. His defense was legit. Legit. Uh, Courtney, is this real? I need to know about this. Women show increased aggression towards those with larger breasts that he finds. I mean, I don't know. So if you see a girl with big old titties, do you like, is there something like, I don't like her? Maybe. Fuck that bitch. No. Yeah. No? I don't, is I don't the, think so. Is a woman's first thought to just be like, I don't like that bitch anyways? Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. in general, I just say that about everybody. It doesn't matter about their titties. Facts. Yeah. You don't like them. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. You're like a cat that gets around another cat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. You guys uh, following this Doctor Disrespect stuff? Oh yeah, and I saw this. It's so funny that it happened to them twice because he. Did this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, Doctor Disrespect got in trouble for sending underage messages on a Twitch affiliate app uh, to some some kids, like some inappropriate stuff. And, I mean, he didn't do anything specific, but it was like some inappropriate comments. And then his uh, his sister got in trouble too. I don't know if you guys, uh, <laughs> Doctor Chris, respect. That's nope. <laughs> nope. So that's Ava Chris Tyson who got in trouble through Mr. Beast. It's hard out here for online streamers. Are they we just can't stop ta talking to in inappropriate to kids, right? Inappropriate. <laughs> Are we not gonna talk though that Chris got hot? Are you think Chris is hot? Say? I mean, hold if up. If you had to look at the old Chris. I mean, come on. That's and then like, you look at Ava. What are you going to say? It's a trap, bub. It's a, tra <laughs> it's a trap. It's, it's, the, it's a new M, on, M. Night Shyamalan movie. You're going to fucking... I think Ava dope. only likes... I think Ava only likes other trans. Yeah, yeah. So, so Ava's looking... Because that's really the trouble that Ava got into is the fact that uh, she was talking to, like, underage trans girls and being like, jerk off on screen for me. Well, if she ever wants to holler at Brianna, tell her I'm, I'm down. <laughs> Brianna, yeah. <laughs> Brian's trans name. Brianna, if you guys have figured right. out, it's. I mean, we've been mixing a lot of. I mean, a lot of gender stuff's been mixed lately. I don't know if you guys have paid attention. You know, where we've got, you know, people switching teams. We got people. I saw this. I, did you guys know that men and women wrestle sometimes? Like they wrestle each other, like in certain leagues. Intergender wrestling. Saw this. Yeah. And I was like, This is so fucking loud. I'm turning the volume off because it makes no sense. Homeboy. Me and Kim did that last <laughs> night. You guys did that interracial or interracial interracial wrestling night? Inter yeah, intergender yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do know. that every night at night. I get on top. She's you know. Yeah. I just thought it was funny. Homeboy ended up with uh he's Brian whenever did he, he gets on the pillow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he won for sure. For sure. Bro was he won. He came. <laughs> he came. <laughs> Don't come. Do not come. <laughs> oh, I'm going to come. <laughs> you guys are all disgusting. <laughs> he, was yeah. he was definitely yeah. bricked up, dude. For sure. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I saw this as well. Did you guys hear the story uh, or hear the information that the creator of SpongeBob came out? I said, Com Kenny, when asked uh, by someone on the spectrum, is SpongeBob a statistic? Yes, of course he is. 
that's his superpower the same way it's your superpower. Oh, oh God. Gay. Which I thought was cute. But which somebody else responded, I don't want to say it, but I'm pretty sure I know what Patrick is. Then. We're doing this now. <laughs> 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 uh, Why oh, they, man. They got to steal Kanye's shit. That's I know, my right? Superpower. That's my yeah. super, they are stealing superpowers, you know? Yeah. I don't, I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it whatsoever. Like the, the, uh, the implication of, you know, like, like, why can't you just be weird? Like, you know, just power appropriation. We had somebody who came on stage. Somebody did, I think it was Doug came on stage and did a whole bit about like, when I was a kid, you weren't autistic. You were just weird. Yeah. (laughs) Damn. It's like, damn dude, he's going in. He does that around a bunch of Gen Z kids. They're going (laughs) to flip the fuck out. They're going to be like, Biden's off this shit again. (laughs) Uh, Okay, grandpa, let's get you back in the nursing home. (laughs) No, we do have to talk a little bit about the Olympics opening ceremonies, though, because I know there were there's some controversy on the intranet. Uh, here's some graphic photos we have. Clearly, we have uh, the red and Marie Antoinette. We have uh, Onesis. Is that Onesis? What the fuck is it? Dionysus. Dionysus. Something yeah. like that. Dionysus. It's Greek god. Dionetics. Isn't that what they call fucking... Dionetics. <laughs> and then we've got the four horsemen of the pocket. I'm just kidding. But apparently, it's all based on, like, French culture and like uh, Greek cult, Greek culture and stuff, and people were mis mistaking it for like the Last, the Last Supper. Supper. The, yeah, I think there was some of that in that. I mean, some of it. This is the dumbest shit ever. They're the gayest I'm, place on earth. I'm really, I'm really tired of white people being like, "This is against Christianity," and it's just like, "But you're a snowflake, though." Yeah, oh, you are. You're but, a fucking snowflake, but yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're yeah. A fucking... no, yeah, yeah. That's what it be. That's what it be. I'm a snowflake. It does work but both ways you. too. I do, I do see that. It doesn't go both ways because uh, you don't see them do anything that's depicting Muslims. So my thing is like, here's my thing with it. It's easy to hit Christianity because Christians are the most tolerant religion. I mean, now. Back in the day, there was some there was some things called the crusade. They don't sound very tolerant now. Tolerant? What's what's intolerant about saying I think that that makes fun of my religion? I think you're I think we're allowed to call out call out culture is the well they're pretty judgy though. What are they judging? They judge absolutely. Oh my god! They don't like gays. It's like debating with religion with Jordan. Yeah. No, I just want to know. No, I I do find it interesting. I do find it interesting that. Uh, a lot of people will be will like love to shit on Christians and talk shit about religion and like demean their culture, demean their art, demean their shit. And then at the same time, they want to be like, oh, take it easy. We're just joking. But if you say anything about anything else, it's like, a oh, like, why would you do that? You dead name like dead naming. Like, I, don't, I try not to dead name people. But we freak out about dead naming. But meanwhile, we can be like, fuck Jesus. Fuck, and you're hurting entire people's feelings. And it's like, what point do we care about some people's feelings and we don't give a shit about others? And it's weird to me. I mean, I, I get it. My biggest point is that these are mostly American people complain, American Christians complaining about what happened and what was created in a French culture in Paris that was supposed to be depicting some shit that is behind Greek goddesses and Greek gods, which is right. I think that's been the, the original big thing. Drags too. They what? did not like that there was drag queens and that there was a child there. They, they were freaking out about that. I don't know why the kid needed to be there. That was a little bit weird. I don't know. I just. Well, Mary I, Antoinette was once a child. So yeah. Well, I mean, we all no, were. We were all once a fucking a child. Uh, no, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I, drag I don't culture. Do these debates. You don't have to. Drag culture in general is very, very Should. sexually explicit in nature. It's the point of it. And to me, like to like mix that in with kids and other stuff, it always is weird to me. It just doesn't make sense. Like I don't, I don't have a problem with drag culture. I don't have gay. I don't have a problem with gay culture or trans culture or any of it. I think it all has a place. The Olympics may be taking a place in France, but it's between every country and every country has the right to say something about it. So I don't think I don't think that's I, I understand what you're saying. Like American Christians, I think you had a lot of Canadian Christians and you had a lot of Australian. I mean, we're only seeing the English side of it. I'm sure they're if you looked at Mexican Twitter right now, I bet you they're fucking the Catholics are pissed because like that's literally their culture. Like, well, like I'm Catholic culture. I'd like to see that. Yeah. I'm, like I'm asking. I, I yeah, think yeah. that would be interesting. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. I'm asking. Because I'm being serious, but yeah, isn't yeah. the uh, isn't the number one religion in the world uh, Muslim? Or number uh, one? I mean, number. I think it's the most. What's the metric we're measuring by? Because we have to measure most by. people. I'm saying, like, I think internationally, it's the number one. I think it's a good question. I don't know because a lot of those numbers are skewed because you live in a nation. Like, if you live like there's, we don't have a national religion in I'm the United at States. The or one real quick. Well, you, as I'm saying, you have to. It depends on the metric that you're judging. 
it by because like I mean Chinese are Buddhists and there's more China there's more China people than there are anybody more Chinaman than any other type of person. But there's there's so much Take that goes into metrics that depend on how you look at the metrics of it. I just feel I think it's interesting that we can shit on one group as often as we want. And then when they get upset that they're getting shit on, everybody's like, oh, everything's about you and everything. But then when but, when we want to talk shit about them, it's like open game. It's like they you can do, do a, They do a lot, though. Yeah. And I get, like I said, I'm on both sides. I, the far left and the far right are both crazy people. But There's a part of me that feels like we live in, th- because we live on this side of the world and Christians are more, we're, you're more likely to see a Christian in America than any other religion. Can we agree on that first? Well, Christ- Christianity has 2.4 billion followers and Islam has 1.9. So Christianity is the biggest? Christian, yeah, Christianity. I, but I think a lot of people, again, that comes down to the metric in which you judge because a lot of people will say they're Christian and they're literally just don't. They, I don't just like, no, I, I believe in Jesus. That's a lot of religions, though, in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. itself. I mean, there's only a few people that actually follow and, I mean, not few, but there's, yeah, yeah, a there's lot more people less. that say that they're Christians than people that actually study and follow what a Christian yeah. truly is. I'm not just saying it's what I think a Christian is, but like what? Do they have good cores and yeah. values? Do well, they... Christianity also encompasses like Catholic, Catholicism and Protestantism is way different. Or like it's uh, a branch. Greek Orthodox yeah. or Orthodox and Orthodox, like Russian Orthodox. They're all a branch on a tree, in my opinion. I mean, Christian. There's none of those are. They're all Christian in the way that like it's like an all encompassing. It's like saying they're all white and then being like, well, but these people are Greek. These people are, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they don't even have anything in common. They're like, subdivisions. Yeah, different or like yeah. like languages and shit. Like in that situation, I don't know. For me, it comes down to like the most judge people, the most judgmental religion you're going to meet because we live in the United States is always going to be Christianity because it's we, the majority of people that you meet that are religious in America are probably going to be Christian. I mean, we've all seen it. But then I also saw one guy on the internet who's a Muslim from here that he was like calling out somebody for being a pedophile and somebody was like, you can't judge him because you're a Muslim. And he's like, you're right. I, I shouldn't be able to judge. Okay. And it was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What are we talking about here? Well, like, because uh, okay, their their lord or savior yeah, yeah. was like fucking nine year olds. So. <laughs> yeah, I guess at that. I'm point. not even being funny. I'm I just, know that's what it states. I don't yeah. say fucking, but yeah, married. He married her. He married her. He. he I mean, yeah, he loved her. Maybe the sex stop after they got married. <laughs> <laughs> bah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I got it for you. <laughs> That's fucked up. No, anytime I talk, I can talk religion with atheists. It's fun because I I love I love how uncomfortable they that, that like atheists, but specifically you're one of them that like to make Christians uncomfortable. But then once Christians will lash back out, it's always like shut the fuck up. We're talking about you, not to you, kind of thing. You know what I, I mean? I just honestly, I don't feel like this had had any fucking. I just what was offensive about it? The what? the offensiveness was okay. So their and their interpretation of it, which people are gonna say, this is obviously <coughs> Dian, Dian, Danessis or whatever the fuck Dian, he is, yeah. but he wasn't always a part of. The, he was on a plate at, at a the end. Old, yeah, in the end. beginning, it was them on this this table, and they were in the form of the the Last Supper. It's it's a, it, but also I'm pretty sure the Last Supper is located. Is it located in the Louvre? I mean, it is in France. That's Maybe. the location of it, probably. There's also other, like, artist depictions of, like, goddess and gods yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of Greek culture and Ro- or whatever yeah. depicted in that same same kind of realm. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. like, I, <clears throat> I think this is, hey, this is about me when it's not about me sort of situation. No, I get what you're saying. I, I understand that completely. But I do think it's I, – I, I, I do think there is a double standard online because – Christians Christians take a lot of shit. Like I watch it constantly. I watch people talk shit all the time. It's the only religion that people feel com- it's like the only religion people feel comfortable talking shit about. They're not there's not a lot of t- a lot of people talking shit about Muslims and not a lot of besides the Christian Buddhists. Yeah, but but I mean that's inner inner that's like between the groups, but I'm talking about people who have no skin in the game. They'll shit on Christians all day, shit on Jesus, shit on religion, shit on your church. You guys are pieces of shit and then but they won't get that same li- like that same energy to another religion that has almost what did you say almost two billion people that also like do not let women <laughs> drive and don't let women not be educated and it's like like why do we put so much energy in this and it's just because they're they're majority and I feel like people feel like that's easier to talk shit about. I mean, I think it's more so that we're it's the only one we really are educated about. That's I mean that's what I'm saying. We live I'm in not a gonna, Christian that tells you, Yeah. Like I don't know any Muslims, so I'm not going to. Yeah. That's not going to be included in the thing that I'm. Yeah, the Muslims I yeah. met didn't tell me about how I'm going to hell. So yeah, like, yeah I've never hell, met a you know I've never met a mean because Muslim they don't think you're, they don't want to get like, you. 
They don't want you. They don't. They don't want you. I mean, I mean, I mean, that's that's the pitch. It's the pitch. I don't want them either. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's the pitch, though, right? I guess. I mean, the pitch is, hey, man, you're gonna go to hell unless you come over here with us. And whereas Muslims are like, please stay over there. We don't want you to see what we're doing over here. (laughs) There's some weird shit over here, and we don't want you to know about it. Like when you meet a white Muslim, you're like, doesn't not be like, whoa. They've been in prison. Am, yeah. am I telling no, a lie? No, no, no. You're, you're right. You're <laughs> it's it, very pot. It's very. I mean, it's it, it, it's not much different from most black Muslims, er, in in a sense too. Yeah. Because you got to wonder, hey, uh, did did you did you convert in prison or yeah, is no. this a family like thing? So like, which sometimes you can tell and shit like that. But yeah, I I, I um, do think that they, a lot I, of Oz. To be completely fair, I do think they were reading in way too much to this shit. Like they like Christians were. Yeah. But I do I always do find it interesting. Like I said, when these things come down and the Christians are like, "This is bullshit," people are like, "Oh, shut the fuck up, Christians! You can't you can't have a problem with this." Meanwhile, if any other group has a problem, we all are like, "I don't oh, we care. I don't know what they're upset about." Is it because they're trans people depicting something that's depicted a bull? Like all the time, they think. Well, they think. Like, are they think they're mocking them? Like, what, that's what, what they is think the it is. They think they're mocking. It's yeah, in it's fucking mocking. Paris. There's Moulin yeah. Rouge and shit. Yeah, like I think what everybody just dresses bitches, like, like that over there, I, don't they? I get it though. If you're a if you're a person that believes, in, and like I said, I've been going to. I go to church from now, and I I was an atheist, full blown atheist, a few years back, and now I don't know what I am. I'm bicurious. When it comes to that. <laughs> I am sexual, when it comes bicurious, 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 bicurious religion wise. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, it's like you know. I could see the whole table thing and then all those people there. It does look like, but I don't know other, I don't know other religions and other Greek stories and shit like that. So that could be just exactly what the Greek story looks like. So it's hard to say, but I could see why I I could see why they're getting upset. And is it just because they're being depicted by like men in dresses? Yeah, they don't like drag. Pro- I mean, yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. are they just? I mean, being... if it's against, if it's that, something like that's against your religion, and then somebody, it's it, like I said, it always ends up being inter- an interesting conversation because there's more than one gigantic religion that has a lot of people. It feels that more hate homophobic it, but everybody than it does like anti-religion. The, there's wrong. Know. It kind of does wrong people on both sides. Yeah, but yeah. and there's also <laughs> there's also good people on both sides. <laughs> there's also good people on both sides. That's a very important yeah, yeah, topic yeah. to say. No, it, it just, is. It it just feels like like fucking. Most of this shit is a normal thing to be seen in like a uh, French culture yeah. or like what is expected to be normal. So yeah, like yeah. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, but, yeah. It's I mean it's a very it's 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 a very interesting topic regardless. You know what I mean? That's what I think at the end of the day. Like even if somebody's like I don't care about either side of this, it's an interesting it's an interesting debate. I think I think both I do think they're blowing it out of proportion. A thousand percent, I think any Christian that freaked out online is blowing this out of proportion. But I also think that they, at the same time, they're kind of skittish because they do get shit on constantly by mainstream culture that makes them seem a certain way. You, you meet, It's like if you meet the worst, it's the bear debate all over again. If you meet the worst version of something and then you say that's how everybody is. It's like it's it's bigotry, in my opinion. It's the same concept. But, but they I mean, literally think every I mean, if you talk to a Christian, unless you find a good core value Christian, in my opinion, they think everyone that does drag is just Lucifer and Satan and yeah. demon. So you need to go to a Methodist church for two seconds. You'll understand there are different levels to this shit. I think. But the I think people you that are getting both. offended by it are the are the That's ones what that I'm just saying. hate trans people. Yeah, they hate like, trans. Like the majority of people. I hold on, let's 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 separate drag queen and trans because those are two different. things. Well, we're talking about. I'm talking about drag queens. Drag queens. A a okay. person that is, and I'll, I'll just say it because I there's crazy left side to people too, but a, a Trump supporter sees that shit and goes fucking ape nuts and they they most of them are christians yeah. so it's like i'm not saying every christian's bad and i'm not saying every muslim's bad but there's a lot of shitty people on both that's where i was going at yeah, there's yeah, a there lot is. of shitty yeah. people yeah. on both no, sides I know, I know. yeah and there's a lot there's of people that'll take any opportunity they can to shit on a christian person because one christian one supposed christian said something bad or a couple supposed christians said something it's bad just and it's like it's too generalized more. it's not just the christians that like it's not all Christians that are everybody's mad at. It's the ones that are, yeah. Like, but then people, mean. but then they ratchet it up online and they put worse things up about like it's like the Draw Muhammad contest. You guys ever heard of that? The Draw Muhammad contests. They've done them in Texas. They've done them other. Draw yeah. There's always a terrorist attack that like follows or somebody tries to kill them because in their religion it's like huge, like sacrilegious to depict their god depict Muhammad at all like you're not allowed to show him in Christianity there's so much art 
But then there's a sh- like there. Remember you guys remember a few years ago there was like an art installation of a guy who drew Jesus in shit, like drew a and then did a went across the country to display his picture of Jesus as a protest to Christianity covered it like a shit Jesus, and I'm like, I want to see that guy try it with Muhammad. As, as satirists, we're all satirists. That's what we, we yeah, and that's yeah, part yeah, of what we do. Yeah. You guys, you guys ever heard of uh, um, Charlie Hebdo? Hebdo, yeah. We've yeah. talked about it before. What happened to him? You know, uh, if you yeah, know the story, yeah, he got killed. He got murdered, got murdered for satire, decapitated. Why? Why? Because he drew a picture of Muhammad. There you go. That's all it took. Now yeah. we have a lot of outrage about Christians firing back against things that they think. That, now these Christians didn't didn't come out and say we hate this because it's trans or because it's you know drag queens. They said we think you're using drag queens, something you know that is against our religion to depict our religion. Like the, the weird thing was the girl in the middle, the, the actually the only, I think natural female in there, right? The woman in the middle, the, the bigger, the busty piece. one. The one she I had like the, 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 you see in all like yeah. Christianity, the, the divine thing. And I'm sure there's some Greek, probably some Greek shit uh, that's involved in that. I feel like well. that's just an excuse to make it okay. What do you mean? <clears throat> like bringing up all the other like possibilities of things that could be, it's obviously they're depicting what it is. Do you think it's the last supper? Yeah. Okay. He doesn't you, think that. But you don't no. know that. You can't say it. You might think that. You can think that all you want. Right. But you, but, I don't know and, that. And, and you I'm don't not know mad that about it. Unless, yeah, yeah, yeah. unless we saw, like, because what if you see a picture of, like, a Greek? I mean, I'm not mad at it either. I yeah, don't yeah, really yeah. give a shit. But yeah, yeah. you see a Greek picture <laughs> of them doing the same thing, like the same amount of people at the, at the same table. It's just one of those things. And religions, I'm not saying one's fake or one's not, but religions all follow a lot of the same orthodoxy yeah and a lot of the same story yeah like yeah. yeah they're night and day but like if you actually read the stories and shit like that it's all pretty much the same shit because well i don't stories get passed a long out. time story, before, yeah. before written word yeah there's a lot going on there i think it's kind of just kind of asinine though yeah for people to get like all hot and bothered i i did see th- throughout my timeline people were, were like this is depicting jesus and it yeah, yeah. shouldn't be i've seen hella fucking rap art that like depicts the like, same exact shit right, I've gets seen up this, in art I've but seen madonna to be versions. fair that shit they people also were pissed about that I've you guys just are different they, versions they were of the... when it happened i mean it's you gotta remember this was a everything's a culture like, when, when madonna did the thing I think it was, I don't remember which song it was, but she had a, a whole music video of her being like crucified and shit. And it was, yeah. they wouldn't play it on MTV because oh, so much out. Well, the Hate Me Now video with uh, uh, No Diddy, Well Diddy, and Nas. Um, that got a lot, didn't it? Yeah, because they were carrying crosses yeah. and stuff like that. I get I get Christians don't like seeing those things depicted, but yeah. like also as an artist, and, and if you see something, if you have an inspiration, you should be able to depict that shit. We still see Why do they never depict Muhammad? That's, I think oh, that's I my know. question is well, here, they only do it because they know that it's, it's controversial to the point where they're not going to get fucking murdered. Whereas Charlie Hebdo went to the mountaintop and then got fucking beheaded. Plus, Jesus is our home team, though. Now that's And that's kind of yeah. what I was saying before. We are all so inundated. Like Christianity is such a, a, an important fabric of like American culture. It's not an official religion, but we all know a Christian or two or... Three. That's what I mean. Like Say That's this. the only religion I know anybody. Yeah. If, and, if yeah. we lived over there and we hated Muhammad, we would be in the same boat. But I yeah, mean, yeah. that's more for... You don't let that shit... You don't... That's another thing. You don't let them know that you hate Muhammad over there because yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. going bye-bye. Yeah. That's, but what I'm saying is... I, I guess if I distill it down. Are you going to kill us? No, what I'm, what I'm distilling down. going to kill us. What yeah, I'm saying is die. I want you guys to become part of a Christian church. I don't yeah. want to join wrong. He's not even a real religious no. guy. I see the I'm not real religious. My yeah. point is, I, I guess, uh, my big issue is always, if you notice me and my stances, it always comes with, what do I, what group do I think is getting shit on? Whether it's, like, the Sonia Massey stuff that we can talk about that. Because that pisses me off. Like, 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 the Sonia Massey like, shit. Like, we all get upset because this happened, and we should. We should, as a culture, get upset, and a lot of people did on on every side. You know, there are good people on both sides. And, uh, <laughs> I didn't but say I mean, that. But I mean, like, that whole situation with the cops was fucking horrible. Anytime I see there's injustice or I think people are being – or I guess it's the, it's the, it's the inter- eternal iner- irony of me, and that's the reason why I don't go to a church. It's the hypocrisy of it, and I'm not talking about you. But it's the hypocrisy. I don't like hypocritical people. So when I see people, in my opinion, who will shit, 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 shit over here, and then when something happens over here, it's like, oh, we got to care about this. And I'm like, let's, can we do both? Can we keep it consistent? Is really where, like, I want to keep consistency when it comes to 
not just murdering, because obviously with the Sonia Massing, there's a whole person fucking murdered. That's, that's not say, the same. This is art yeah. in a life. And the, the, that shit's black and white to me. One, like, shut the fuck up about uh, this might be the fucking last supper. I don't fucking care. It's fucking art. It's a performance. We, yeah, yeah. We see different performances all the time. Some of them are good. Some are bad. Some are, are taboo. For doesn't sure. Doesn't fucking matter. The other shit is a whole fucking human life. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, I'm not really debating the two of those. Know, Obviously, yeah, they're two yeah, different yeah, things yeah, yeah. to be outraged. But there are things that get that people get outraged by. Did you guys see the BLM came out against Kamala Harris? Uh-oh. I don't know. They came out, they did a whole big thing, like their organization came out against Kamala Harris because they're like, she put black people in prison. And I guess my thing is like, it, it comes down to, yeah, in this situation, we are talking about art. And then the other situation, we are talking about somebody being murdered. Right. There's not really a comparison there at all. So, but the, but the thing that I'm talking about is the outrage culture of it all. At the end of the day, we start to put certain certain types of groups on on like we can never say negative that shit about them and then certain types of groups we can say like if i say if i say that you've seen the group like we've seen the post where people be like oh well who's who's raping kids you know is it who's raping kids is it who, who's more likely to a, a catholic priest or a drag queen and they're like see it never happens with drag queens and then it comes out that a drag queen did it yeah. or like a trans person did it and it's like are, at what point are we going to have the conversation where, like, why, why don't we not make these generalizations in, like at all? Let's not do that. Let's talk about individuals. Let's talk about what specifically is happening here. If you're upset about this because you think this looks like a religion, you might be an idiot. Also, you might be annoyed because this is supposed to be – this. you're supposed to feel like this is inclusive. Like, why did you have to make it do that? You know what I mean? So then they start seeing it in everything because then they're like, oh, well, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, all the way down the line. And then you're like, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, all the way down the line. Like, I got people, I was talking to somebody the other day that they, they somebody hates LeBron James. And I'm like, why? You don't like him as a basketball yeah. player? And they're like, because of communism, because of China. And it's like a talking point. Like, he did kind of capitulate, but at the same time, like, the culture's moved on. And it's like, to me, it gets all the way down to, like, we can't, we get offended by certain things and certain things we don't allow. Just, we don't allow people to be offended by it. And I feel like we got to let both sides, let the conversation play out on both sides. I think it's the same. I think it's really the same side of both coins. Like when we get upset about anything, it's like people just pissed off all the time, constantly Man. at dumb shit. And what I'm saying is we need to, we need to continue to create the sanctity of marriage. And I don't appreciate this shit. You can't just have the dark night fucking out here. Just, I mean, you know, we were worried about the sanctity of Corey marriage. Corey Kennedy, baby. Corey Kennedy. Yeah. We made that up. That was, a little, was he wearing that, that kilt? I think so. Was that, uh, no, he's just regular. He's just looking regular. Oh, uh, it looked like plaid up under his, like behind his cape or under his cape. I'm head. just imagining like all the puns that he'd have to say. Like, <laughs> we're doing it during the day because it's not the dark night or whatever. <laughs> he came out in his penguin suit. <laughs> but this guy's not a joker. <laughs> he's taking this so serious. So yeah. when do he you start doing weddings with you. Batman? Well, do you, do you guys remember that guy that came that messaged the page that was like, "I'm trying to." It's Corey. I went to high school with him. Corey Kennedy. Corey Kennedy, very good Batman. dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was the joke. Was like it was him, but it wasn't actually him. He's gonna get canceled. No, soon. I mean you. You came up with some pretty good puns. You could. Yeah. yeah. Do you hear do that? Well, he's getting canceled soon. He was mishandling Gotham City funds. <laughs> oh, shit. <That's> what oh. <laughs> Everything gets canceled eventually. I'm just like, I think at some point we all just gotta not give a fuck anymore, including the Christians. Like Christians, stop giving a fuck. Have we like, ever started that? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we should. Point, right. I think we should 100. I do. I, I am excited about the Olympics. I I enjoy watching it. I think it's cool to see different nations compete against each other for for things. Like I was, it makes you weird. I mean, I, my and my perspective it makes me weirdly patriotic when i'm watching like an american swimmer go up against like an australian and a fucking china kicking them kicking their ass whooping their ass i don't like it's weird that's the only time i love my country because like <laughs> like because i'm like all right yo go these people man because they worked really hard to get really good at whatever yeah. sport you're you're good at or whatever and they represent where they came from and that's the only time i really feel american yeah yeah like and i've served for this country i don't give a fuck like, we, we get smoked in track and field, though. Well, well that's okay, up. man. That we, you can't bone. beat them. <laughs> God damn, was it not even? Noah Lyles is really good. Noah Lyles is a good runner. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Who is it? There's a, there's a conspiracy online right now that Americans, the American, that slavery only existed so Americans could uh, appropriate black bodies to create 
to, so that we can win the Olympics. They knew about the Olympics beforehand. <laughs> they, well, mean, the Olympics were, have existed. Well, from, oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. But they just didn't know it was going to come back. Well, we knew it was coming back. Right they were broadcasting back. it on the stone. How long has it been around? Since like the, I mean, it was the old Greek yeah, back yeah. in the day, the Pantheon and shit, right? Yeah. Like originally, and then we started doing it as like a world during like, like what? The United Nations and shit around then. Uh, like I know we were doing it. Yeah. The war, it happened during Hitler's time. We know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. Fucking that shit happened. I, I, I think it's, I think it's, it's a fun time to be because it does make you feel patriotic when you yeah. normally don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like and and you know, uh, going back to exactly what I said about Christians, I feel the same thing about people that hate America that are from America. You know, let's talk about that. I'm just kidding. Well, yeah. It could be. It sucks it, here. It could be even people that think that like we hate Kokomo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like they don't know what we're doing, and we don't hate this town. Like no. I, I actually like it here. Yeah. <laughs> like, There's a lot of positives. Yeah, like doing things and shit like that is fun. I yeah. heard real quick. I heard a song. Um, it was on that Kokomo, uh, I remember Kokomo, Indiana. Yeah. And it was a song about a guy, a guy wrote it and he was from here and it he had a record and, uh, it was basically like how, um, the big, the big wigs are taking away our factories here in town. This was like in like the seventies. Yeah. So, and talking about, uh, sending jobs to Mexico and shit. That's oh, damn. pretty wild. Uh, this is Kokomo. I don't remember the guy's name. This is though. Kokomo. Don't let him trip in. Let me trip in. It was wild. Yeah. A new childish Gambino. No, we did. I mean, the greatest rapper of all time did uh, lead the torch for America. Did you guys see this? That does look like a joint. Too. Yeah. It, it does. does. There was a ton of people talking about him looking like a joint, looking like it was smoking a joint. Like, imagine Snoop just running and being like, <laughs> like if what I can if, just get in the whole what thing. What if going. it actually was a joint and he, had, and he was like hitting it? Right. I do, I do. It was just a giant vape. <laughs> just a fucking vape. <laughs> the whole time he's just smoking. What's up? Man? Yeah. We're just fucking killing it out here. Yeah. Imagine being high and then at, like, and then doing that. I mean, <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Is Snoop Dogg the most famous rapper of all time? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he I, may not be the the best rapper, but he's probably the most famous, right? He's the ambassador. Like, a, he's like yeah, an ambassador. You, you yeah. mean like spokesperson? Yeah, right. like the yeah, yeah, one yeah. of the the, the, most, the, the most face. famous rapper of all time. Like, he's probably more recognizable than Jay Z, than Tupac, than oh yeah, yeah. and Eminem. Yeah, I could argue him as the face of rap. Well, not yeah. Eminem. No, no Eminem. way. Eminem's great. Eminem's number one. All you guys, time. you guys check out that Eminem album. Huh? Did you guys check out the Eminem album? Uh, I know you said yeah, you yeah, actually I was enjoyed good. it, right? I I didn't hate it. Yeah, yeah. I I, th I feel like I understood what he was trying to do. Yeah, yeah. But like I I mean it's not I'm not going to go back yeah. and listen to no. it. No, it's it's really repetitive. I'll just yeah. listen to Marshall Mathers LP. Yeah, yeah. I mean go basically, back. yeah. I'd rather just do that. I haven't been able to. I actually have a photo of me listening to the album. If you guys want to see it, yeah, it's me listening to the. Album. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you. I was player hating the whole time. I Is pissed off a fellow go comic. We were talked about this already, but I pissed off a fellow comic, Red Parker. Oh. Shout out Red Parker. It's because you it's don't like love. goatees. She came. Well, no, that was a different thing. Oh, sure. uh, that was hilarious. But that was funny. I had ended up. I ended up having to delete his thread because he was just annoying the shit of me. I Are you guys not cool no more? No, nah, I'm like I don't. I, he got way too fucking personal. Weird. Weird. Like it's just. Yeah. It, it felt like he was looking. All for I thought was a the fight. original thing he said. Yeah, he was looking for a fight. He was looking for an argument. It, it, he's a miserable guy right now. He's you know. Oh. We know we know people like him. He's just miserable right I hope now. I hope deleted him. I hope things get get better, bud. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's not watching this. And I, I, it's okay. I mean, I heard he's got a lot of time on his hands with not having a job and shit. But um, I just, to me, it really just comes down to, like, if you're having a miserable life and you see somebody write a joke. Uh, my, my thing is, like, stand-up comedian on the internet, you know me. He's been at my family fucking get gatherings on my girl's side because he was dating my uh, girl's ex. Or my dating my girl's sister. Okay. And, like, so I'm like, the last time I saw you, you came up and, like, gave me an awkward hug and was like, hey, man, miss you. And then... It's like there's something that I don't know. About. I think he's just holding some resentment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You didn't catch the hint. Yeah. <laughs> Miss you, mate. Call me, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you didn't. Now, I, I, it's now weird. We were in a band team. for like 25 seconds. Like we were in a band for a minute. Like yeah, you were 25 Gregor. seconds to Mars. Yeah, 25 seconds to Mars. Uh, it was just, it was like we were in a band for a minute. So we, because I didn't really know him growing up. I, I had a, some negativity about, or some negative feelings about him before I got in a band with him. And then I was like, okay, he's not that bad. And like he he shared the weird thing is he shared a lot of weirdly personal stuff with me that I would have never put on a post. And then he started getting real fucking snippy about me, about my life. And I'm like, I didn't see any. Of you're that, privy. Honestly. You're privy to like my, my uh, information about me because of my you you dated my girl's sister. Yeah. Don't fucking bring that on the Facebook right now in an argument. All I'm saying is like, 
All I did was make a. He doesn't even have a goatee. The dude doesn't have a goatee. No. He doesn't even. Have, I made a goat. I literally. I lost somebody who I thought was a, was was pretty cool with me, because of a goatee joke. That's insane to me. It's wild. I Who's didn't f- see anything he said to you after. No, I deleted it all because I'm like, I'm I, I, was it after I said mm-hmm. what I said? Well, he. I think you set him off more. He made some type of reference to the fact that like you, oh, what is it? The same ten people reacting and liking and commenting on your shit, and I'm like, oh, wait, like, what are you talking about? And then of course it's the same like, oh, you have a check mark, and people love that. to talk about the check mark because it costs money, and I'm like, do you know how much money you can make on Facebook? With a check mark, it actually helps you. Do I have money. to get one of those to make money? I think it'll help you get. It helps you because it's a verification where like you can you get put to the top of thing. It's like a it's a whole system, man. You really just have to do it. But you could you you he thought he was making money on Facebook and he didn't even have it set up yet, right? You were like trying to figure out how to set it up. I I'm still waiting to get fucking verified. I, yeah, and it just, takes a minute, yeah. but like once you get it on there, it's not that much. You make more money than the cost of the badge. It's incestuous a little bit. Like you pay for. Like, do you make enough money on Facebook? No, you just pay for it. I'm really not trying to pay for. Like, Facebook. separately, to, to, right now, I'll, I mean, I'll put it out there. Separately, right now, in my account, not from the press, there's 189 dollars, and there's another hundred and thirty something, hundred and forty something that's coming for me. It's supposed to have been already came as it came in. They're fucking late. It's supposed to be the 25th of July. They're processing it now, but that's just from. Honestly, it's from me posting like basketball clips and like goofing and people. Yeah. It's it's retention. Yeah. It's all about retention. It's about video. We've talked about it as a I need to stay on the app. But yeah, you stay on the app. I, I and you guys know how often I'm on Facebook. It's like literally everything's on there. Facebook's God and shit. I love Facebook. It's Everybody got everything about it. But. Yeah, it's like uh, people hate things. I do want to bring this up though because we did talk <laughs> about this a while back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, you got something to say. No, I was saying, hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Uh, do you guys remember we talked about the NASA <gasps> yes. astronauts, the four yeah. volunteers? They finally came out of the pod. This Are was they who they were. Yet? They, the women were past postmenopausal. Thank God, I was worried. This <sighs> lady looks like Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the one in the middle. Um, four volunteer crew members who spent more than four months inside NASA's first simulated Mars environment at Johnson Space Center in Houston have emerged from the artificial alien environment. Crew of NASA's Earthbound simulated Mars habitat emerge after a year. Uh, they, I mean, from what I understand, like, they were pretty good. Like, nothing crazy happened. They didn't all just have, a, like, an orgy and kill each other? They didn't fuck. Oh, they were fucking the whole time. That was actually part of the well, They didn't talk about that. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. Stanley Kubrick is in there directing it. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be, on, they're going to show that on the Hulu edition. <laughs> they were like, um, part of the simulation is you got to have those alien tentacle dildos in here. That's the only ones you're allowed to have because we're in an alien planet. So. Yeah. Those things are so cool. Those are cool, man. Whenever I see, see like, I'm scrolling, doom scrolling on Twitter, they're and I'm cool. like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have one. They're cool, though. It's not good. Mar- what is the Mars? I don't literally have one on my butt. Go ahead. What's it look like inside? Um, it. <laughs> Pause. Um, <laughs> uh, what is the? They put a they put a camera inside the tentacle and they want to see what it looked like inside. Uh, no, it was. It's just like uh, ro- it's barely the same thing. There's a part of it that you're not allowed to go out with without your space thing on, and it's like looks like Mars and rocks. It, they tried to make it as mundane as possible. I don't have any photos from the inside of it. I wish I would have got some more photos. I just thought it was interesting that. Like we were debating on the race, the genders. Like, what were we talk? We were yeah. talking about like, is it two black people, two white people? Like, what happened? Well, we were talking about the babies, right? Yeah, the babies yeah. are gonna come out, and it came. It turns I out, I think that was it was me, you, and somebody else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brian was here. <clears throat> I was. was. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. here. We were all here. It was the four okay. Of us. That's why I brought it up. Oh wow. That's why I brought it back. We have a clip on our, our TikTok about it, so that's why I'm like, I know we don't we've know seen what we do. the Mars. I remember seeing it because it's it is a TikTok act because we were talking about them fucking yeah it, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, babies and doing the damn thing. Courtney, I did. Uh, do you have any anything to bring up about this? Because I know this was a I know this was big in female news while we were out. Researchers found various concentrations of 16 types of metals, including toxic metals. I think I found that out while I was on my period, and I was like, hmm. damn. You're like, no wonder I keep losing all this iron. Damn. Good. They're just trying to replace the iron that you guys are losing. Yeah. From all the blood. It's fine. You guys yeah. cool with talking about this? You guys? Uh, I'm going to set this one out. You're going to set this one out? <laughs> 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 I like them. Uh, Brian has had his Red Wings since he started. I have had them since I was a wee lad. 14, what is 15. what is Red Wings? Can you guys tell me what that is? He calls yeah, it's when you eat a girl out on her period. Eat her out, right? Yeah. Is that, what, is that what it is? Uh, yeah. People think people like to say it's when you have sex on period, but yeah. that's not. That's, just, that's what I was told forever, and I was like, yeah, I have my Red Wings. I didn't realize what I was saying. No, you're sucking actual bloody pussy. Yeah, you got yeah. your Red Wings. Yeah. What if you just hang around the clit and you don't go all the way down? I mean, it's like, different. I don't know. Yeah, it's different. I... 
I mean, I've you're had probably still gonna get caught in the beard, so you know. <laughs> yeah, wear that shit. Courtney's face is so like yeah. she said. To, she's like, this is, she's like, I'm pleading the fifth right now. I plead the fifth. Courtney's unfortunately, never... you've had a history rectomy, right? No, no? history rectomy. History rectomy. No, she's had. I a still tube have tied. a vagina. She's had her tubes tied. She, oh, you have your tubes tied. Mm -hmm. Will you ever get them untied? I don't know. Courtney, I was wondering if you'd want to uh, hang out in uh, Dildo, Canada. I've oh, heard, yeah. I've heard there's oh. a lot of really great things popping up around there. Wow. That's pretty. Is that a great scene? I'm a phallus-shaped <laughs> iceberg hovered off the coast of Dildo, Newfoundland in Conception Bay before collapsing. So it's gone now. Oh, fuck. Know, unfortunately. Why would you... Why would you do that? I know. Why would so, I tell you about why that? Why are you edging I just me? Thought it was funny. I was edging you right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm Kamala, and I'm edging you right <laughs> now. Thank you, Ricky. <laughs> that's my new. That's me. When when you and when you and your woman do uh, your role playing stuff. No, new Disney. Do politics. And politics. Say, like pretend like you're oh, <laughs> Kamala. Kamala and fucking edge me. <laughs> I'm Oh, I'm gonna come. I'm says? gonna come. <laughs> I'm gonna bust. Do not come. I did. I figured since my friends are here, this is the right time to tell you guys what I expect from my funeral. Just yeah, in case know. you guys are down with it. This is. Dude, <laughs> I don't have a funeral <laughs> like this. If I don't have. We <laughs> This was wild as hell. Oh my god. We already had an entire conversation about this at the last. This open guy. Mic. Yeah. Yeah. About we had this at the open mic. I was like. <laughs> What'd you she, guys say? She asked if if this is how my funeral can go. <laughs> and, 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 and we just we planned his whole funeral. He's gonna have a desk with his recording stuff. Yeah. And we decided on the background colors are gonna be black and <laughs> green. Yeah. Damn, I was hoping to use myself as the, the the guy who gets to do this, but I think Bell's already got it planned out. Yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah, we, we planned, planned it. it. We planned That's hell, it. hell yeah. Let yeah. me ask a question. Yeah. Is, is, do you guys don't think it's scripted? I mean, scripted isn't like you think it's fake. I think it's fake. Think it's flop and flop. The way the girls dance. I mean, yeah, I, I, it's hilarious, but I was like, "There's no way that this could be real." No, I've seen some wild real. ones. Have you? I mean, have you seen, seen the one with the dude smoking? Yeah, a ball? that shit's yeah. dope. That's a what? That's what you want? Help me out, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> Help me out, ladies yeah. and gents. Yeah. Blunt uh, my mouth. But I mean, then you said, but then you said you also wanted to be. Uh, yeah, I want to be cremated. Cremated. So it doesn't so really matter after. We're just making the stuff out of cardboard. You want us to put you in the. The cone? Uh, you Throw can a if you bit. want to. So um, I, now Courtney and Ace know my, my death plans. And so mm -hmm. you have to collaborate with him. <laughs> okay. But, okay. I got him. Uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah um, he knows it just burned me or whatever. And whatever you do with the bag, I don't care. So if you want to smoke me, bye, bye, bye. Fuck yeah. My cousin smoked his dead dad. Yeah. Did yeah. he really? Yeah. Ace don't smoke probably. me, please, guys. I'm like, that's just so weird. I'm smoking you while you're alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, yo. Never mind. <laughs> I shouldn't okay. talk about our things with you. Yeah, we gotta quit talking. About we know. Our secrets. We, we know. What? It, they're gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you were at the roast, apparently I'm the. I, everybody is sucking my dick. Yeah, it's like, and I'm white. So yeah, I'm and you're white. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, I watching it back with Maddie because we went. I went over yeah. your, your house and we hung out and we, me and Maddie went through the entire fucking thing. Like, phew, Courtney was right there with us and then like, it's like. So many jokes about you being white. I know the the, the Simon lot. thing about like him thinking like he only heard your voice, so it makes a little. Bit, but the howdy, you're like I've never fucking said howdy a single time in my life. Not <laughs> once. Not you had a lot of great responses. I really appreciated that because you would come up and be like, I got something to say about that. It'd be funny. Uh, it was. I mean, honestly, I looking back, there's gonna be a lot of great clips out of that. I do think. I watching Courtney say it. I said it. I said it privately, so I'll say it publicly. I think she might have. One of the best written, written sets of the night, like yeah. for real, it like written good. wise, did really well. She had really more punchlines than most comedians, and I was like, "That's crazy." I've seen, I've seen, I haven't seen too many sets at our open mic that were as good as that. I told her, "I'm like, maybe you should consider for real Trying, writing and yes. doing real comedy." Trying it, I said the same. I I'll say the same thing about her, and I have, and I'll say the same thing about Mister Han. Really Mr. Hunt could. Yeah. Mr. Hunt's got a lot of money in there. If he oh, could yeah. get his, get a good 15, 20 minute set down and become the bad teacher, Mr. Yeah. You know, hot for teacher. Hot for teacher. They're so like we could write that guy a fucking fortune. Oh, I yeah. would love to write for that guy. Oh yeah, I like. I to me, writing for the roast was the most fun I've had writing because most like bits that I write for comedy, I don't know how bits come to you guys, but it's like they come to me in like spurts. I'll be like thinking about myself being a narcissist and then pops in my head it'll be like oh well 
Like like the newest bit I have just to bust it out, but not to do the full thing or nothing. Bust but like the, the the newest bit started from the premise of I have a face, um, I have the type of face that you feel like you can that people feel like they can say some weird shit to. That was all it took, and then I was like, what is some weird shit people said to me? And then I wrote it into a bit, and ended up going full circle. But like when you when you sit down to write a bit, are you writing it from? Because this might actually help you. Because like the good thing about the roast was you we have formats. Mm. Roast format is so easy because you're like telling stories about a person, a specific. But at the same time as we saw, like, and as you can see in a lot of roasts, some people just can't do that. Yeah. And for some reason, you did you roast people growing up? Is that, did you sit at the lunch table and just fucking... No. No? Just put a lot of thought into it? I think you started writing earlier than anybody else, right? I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she so started writing early. I think you did it because Brian and I didn't, I didn't finish. I had a bunch of shit written in mine my head. Mine was like, I had, I had Brian help me do mine. He sent me what he thought I should do and I just reworded it in my she own did. way. She yeah. did. Hell yeah. So... I had a lot of ideas for his, so his was already written for the most part. So I had like a structure. Yeah, yeah. But then Which I is just helpful. needed to like come up with like a subject and then like of each person and then. Was it know. fun? Did you enjoy doing it? I was very stressed out. But after like when you go back looking at it and you see that it, act- I think you were probably so. St- the reason why you did so well might be because you were stressed out about it because you were like, probably. I want to do good. Whereas yeah. a lot of other people were like, I'll figure it out at the end and then. Right. No, I was very, very like worried i was gonna do bad i watching it back i'm gonna 100 percent tell you everybody did way better than you guys thought you did I, then we thought then like i thought everybody did because i mean at the show i'm like trying to do so much shit so i can only pay attention to so much while i'm doing things that's always a thing yeah yeah, yeah. you know you produce shows yeah, yeah, you know yeah. exactly what it's like you're like oh, i didn't even know that fucking happened i'm yeah, watching yeah. i'm like i forgot it's always better on the i didn't know side, simon so. pulled his ass out yeah he literally pulled his ass out. You probably didn't see it either. I didn't see it. For your location. He pulled it out towards the table where he was sitting. So, like, she was, saw it. I saw it. He, when he anything? was doing the bit about you, ha- like, finding a homeless person that looks exactly like you and their ass was out, he pulled his ass out, like, for a second. It was pretty. Oh. It made it, we didn't even get a good angle of it. We got an okay angle of it. But, like, what I'm did people like, say? Uh, I, don't, I didn't know reaction? Maddie put your head in his crotch. He said he, he apologized at the I, end. I thought it was, it was funny. Fun. Yeah. I hugged you. Like he put his head in your crotch. He gave you a blunt. <laughs> it was like a, that a was dope, yeah. It was funny. But Courtney went up early, and I was like, she really did it. Going after Sean was perfect because Sean got the room warm. I honestly, I Sean did killed everybody. You killed too. Like it's like everybody going back and looking at everything. I was like, wow, the the caliber of joke was a lot better. Then you think, I think a lot of it's just being in the room and not people not reacting because they're not understanding the joke. Yeah. Whereas, like, when you watch it back, there's a lot of jokes that are really fucking good that this, the crowd was not understanding at all because they don't, they weren't privy to our lives. And that, that was a problem that we knew we were going to run into. You can't have, unless we're fucking John Stamos, you know, like nationally household name celebrities, yeah. they're not going to know references, references yeah, yeah. or stuff. So I felt like a couple people had like a, that was like kind of like their their bad thing because you know people didn't understand i don't know yeah yeah but like for the most part i thought it went well but i was hoping people would understand like 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 the one thing that i think a lot of the audience maybe wasn't so keen on was like the fact that a ron was like a degenerate like you know they I mean? didn't get that Nobody even when he that. came up it took it's like we were doing jokes about a ron that were fucking hilarious that they were i mean you had a funny one you had a funny one they you were good funny. yeah yeah. slipping the mints is so funny she wrote that the day like, like yeah like uh, i must have yeah. been funny oh actually probably that meant that a ron gave me before the show i i think everybody did really well brian came up i mean the biggest laughs of the night were when you came up a thousand percent like i'm watching Thank the video and i'm I like you were killing it. your 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 bit sh- the autistic son bit was so fucking funny like you killed Sean's awesome. it was so it was so funny i'm like yeah. that 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 bit killed uh like yeah it's just great because like, like i said being able to look back i saw a lot more bits uh, that that people did. A lot of your responses were so fucking good that I yeah. enjoyed that that aspect of it. You, you did a great about job as a host. Yeah, the hosting mm-hmm. aspect was great. Like, it, I think that that's probably the hardest job in the roast is hosting. Like, I I honestly I think it's really difficult because the crowd's not warmed up. You got to call him out there, and you got to bring up all the people, and then you have to slowly get your stuff in. I, I mean, you did some of it, but then slowly get your stuff in. Yeah, you know? I really think it was hard. I think you fucking nailed it for real. Like, you really did a good job. Did what I could. This is the first one we ever did, and I think if we ever do more in the future, uh, we'll definitely know what to do and what not. Yeah. We'll have a better idea. Yeah. The projector not working drove me fucking crazy because we we tried twice. You brought a projector. You brought a projector, <clears throat> uh, and we just couldn't link it to the next yeah. time. I'll put it on an SD card or That's a what USB. We have to do next time. We're not gonna fuck that up yeah, ever yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If I would have just brought an SD card, 
and my little this is all I needed, and I could have put it on there literally while we were sitting there. This fucking thing. That was it. This guy. Yeah. Yeah. I could have just put the uh, USB right in there, yeah. in there, fucking transferred it. And we would have had it, but it, it, by the time we were getting it all set up, it just didn't. We didn't have the time. It was. That was the only negative I could say about the night, because uh, there definitely wasn't anybody who got kicked out or anything. So it was really great. Um, <laughs> I mean, he didn't call me token or anything, dude. That we cut that out of the. Yeah, fucking, we cut the whole thing out. I said, "Fuck really? that guy. We're not keeping that shit in there." About what? I didn't even like know what was going on as it was going I know. on. <laughs> the the guy that yelled that. Well, the, the, so the first the first time I was aware, because like at the roast, ended some one guy and got ended up getting removed. And when I, the first time I was aware of him was the very beginning of the show. He was talking to Jordan while Jordan was on stage. And Jordan was like, yeah, you're the Matthew cousin? Like, that was it. Like, yeah, he yeah. brought it up. It's like, it's me. Uh. And it was fine. I was like, okay, he's being a little... Anytime we do a show, there's always one person in the crowd that thinks they're funnier than everybody. They they, they deserve everybody's attention. And I'm like, yeah. we're the ones on the stage. Chill out. And it's hard when somebody's heckling in a roast because... It's a roast. It's not the same as like you're on stage and you can just be like, all right, well, let me take some time and do this. Right. Um, like Doug. But when uh, the later on in the set, Jordan's up there talking and there's a he throws out a random like keep going token. And I'm like. Wait a minute. Now, there's some jokes being set up here to our friend, people who are friends with this guy. Yeah. And we're at a roast, so we know that. The crowd has no business. Somebody who doesn't know Jordan, doesn't know any of us in the crowd, has no business throwing that out there. So that's what piqued my second time. I was like, holy shit, what's going on? And then I found out that he was saying inappropriate things to women in the crowd. Mm -hmm. And I said, I was like, hey, Jackie, let him know. Give him." I said, Jackie, give him a warning. Like, let him know if he doesn't quit. Because I was trying to tell him, and he was kind of like being combative. And I was like, all right, I'll tell Jackie. But when she got over there, apparently he had said something racially charged to one of the, the, guy, the people that worked there, to Ray. Uh, at the first show we did there. So once she saw who it was, she was like, nah, you got to go. Mm -hmm. I, I'd like to see the whole thing for a spray joke. What did that person say to deserve it? No, yeah, I'm just kidding. What they do? What That's they fucked do? up. Though. No, agree. it's weird. It's Because we found out that Brian and I both have connections to this guy like by our families. and shit. Yeah. So it's like, it sucks. But and at the same not, time, he's like, not a bad dude. I don't know. I'm not going to go into too much. I don't know if alcohol yeah. was involved or what was going on. But like he genuinely, he's a nice guy that I knew growing up a lot and kind of like took me to do shit and he was like so he's not like the most evil person ever i just no, think no, that no, he I had a, demonize him. think he had a bad night and uh i think he did some shit that he shouldn't have done and definitely some some, some shit he shouldn't have said but. there's some etiquette shit that he's got to learn yeah about you know, live shows probably just yeah. best if he doesn't come to an ocean <laughs> <laughs> well i know he got trespassed yeah. so i don't think he's coming back Start telling them that we'll send him the DVDs because I assume yeah. that's what he has. <laughs> DVD player? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll give him a token. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get a token for every DVD he buys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, fuck go. it. I just, I, watching that back, it was even more like me and me and Maddie and Courtney looking at each other like, fuck. Like, cause it was way more grief. I remember when it happened because you see on the video, I stand up. Like, who the fuck was that? God, was it Fred Durst? Okay, let's talk to him because he's wearing a Fred Durst. Hat, right. You know? But I was like, all right, we're going to have to figure this out. And then I found out he was like, basically sexually harassed a bunch of girls in the bar. Oh, Jesus. You know who would have enjoyed it? NCAA football 14, Shane Gillis would have been like, Ooh. Oh, shit. I saw this. Somebody, the NCAA 14, that's so dumb. But I saw that on there. Well, that's anyway. what he... The, 14 is what he played religiously like he loved 20, he loves a new one but like 25 that's all he played because it was like the last one they made and stuff so i got two more things i want to hit and then we'll wrap this up the first thing is did you guys hear the new announcement at hall h uh, marvel studios avengers doomsday is coming out did you guys hear yeah. about this and then there was a big the big thing was they announced who's going to be playing doomsday and it is or who's playing uh, uh, Dr. Doom, and it's going to be Robert Downey Jr. Very they weird. did a huge announcement. He came out. He took the mask off. It was like a big deal. Uh, I'm I'm not convinced. I'm kind of on the fence about this. Do you guys have any feeling? Do you guys are big Marvel people? Well, did the last dude, did he finger too many buttholes or whatever? The, the dude was from Nip Tuck or whatever? Yeah, Kang? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, you're talking about the dude from... Uh, uh, jo Jonathan Majors. Yeah. No, no, he's talking about the dude from... Uh, What's his name? Yeah, I don't know. He yeah, was I, also in uh, Charmed. Remember, he played like the main demon in Charmed. As I didn't well. watch that. I watched. Yeah, he's talking about the original yeah. one with a uh, uh, what's her name, Je Je Jessica Alba, and fucking Michael Chiklis played uh, the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Chris Evans. He was, was really good. Yeah, he was good. I think um, he were. I think he was too handsome. I don't remember who the next one was. Yeah, but it was like a dude that he doesn't even do. He's not that big. It was like yeah. they were trying to do a small because they had Michael B. Jordan as like Johnny Blaze and shit. I feel like this is just a, it's not fully what it is. Yeah. So, like, 
Robert Downey will probably appear as Doomsday. Yeah. But like, let's see. Doom, not Doomsday. Doomsday is the name of the or, movie. Uh, Doctor Doom. Yeah. Doctor Doom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doomsday actually is a character in DC. So it's yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, 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 Doomsday. Yeah, uh, I think I, I think it's a very interesting decision. I think I know they're he, they're supposed to. The rumors are in the new Fantastic Four. They're supposed to be a cameo by Doctor Doom. What I assume it is because he's around the same age. Not I guess he's not, but he looks kind of the same age as Pedro Pascal, and they're supposed to be peers. So I imagine. That's supposed to show up in a different universe, and then they're supposed to end up in ours. So I imagine that's why he's going to be a variant from another universe. Right. But it's just weird to use him again because, like, there's so many good actors that could do that role. Why do we have to bring him the same? Like, just bring him back as Iron Man. Fucking, why does he need to be? I don't know. If you make it make sense in the story, that's all that fucking matters. And then they also announced at Hall Age uh, Avengers Secret War, which we kind of knew was coming eventually, but they're going to do that after after Doomsday. So Doomsday's first. And then I did want to bring this up. So this was like a huge issue. There was a correction. I think it was in USA Today. Corrections and clarifications. In today's pre-printed Saturday magazine and article has been insensitively juxtaposed with an advertisement from a watch company, Christopher Ward. This placement was an oversight. The Guardian. Okay. So the Guardian put this out. So this is what happened. The knock. This is the police turn up at the door and the family's world class is for Emma and her husband, Matthew. Everything changed. So the concept is abusive. So the police turned up. <laughs> the police turned up at the door, and the family. So he he was watching abusive images of children, and this is the 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 art. This is the ad that's in the middle of this story about child sex crimes. What the fuck? <laughs> it's not real. Uh, absolutely, the Guardian accidentally Shut did the fuck this. Up. They put watch porn in the middle of a thing about watch somebody sex watching crimes. child porn. Yeah, yeah, very watching. watching <laughs> Yeah, imagine making that mistake. The first time I viewed illegal images, I thought never again. Unfortunately, I went. <laughs> <laughs> God, I dig the move. I know, honestly. right? I dig it. That, it that's there's it. some synergy. Yeah, it's yeah. A, a synergy yeah. and advertisement. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like it. It's like when we're on stage and we have a segue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's like, yeah, the, there's a story about this guy that's watching CP. Anyway, uh, this is brought to you by uh, Watch Porn by <laughs> Christopher Ward. Oh, my God. It's so funny, dude. I, I just, it, it was, it's like one of those Stranger Than Fiction stories where you're like, is this real? Like, did this actually, ha- and this is actually serious. Wow. <laughs> so the next time you come to us, to come to one of our shows and you're upset about a joke, just know, like, at least we didn't how, do this. <laughs> why is the little tiny, like, the little, like, apology yeah. Like, where is that posted? Then it's like the next week or whatever, the next day or whatever. So, like, you don't even, like, if you, you've so already. it's like it's, a secret? It's like, well, you'll, you'll, it's like, that's what the joke is about journalists anyways. Anytime they put a correction, it's always like small little tiny. Like, so they thought for any offense yeah. we may have caused. Like, it's that's like, funny, though. <laughs> I love it. Because you can do it and just say, I'm sorry, keep moving. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's whatever. You're allowed to do whatever. You can even write yeah. something. Like they could literally write Dude. an entire story that says, like, a lie about something, and the next day be like, ooh, correction, that was a lie. Maybe we should start doing these. Yeah. yeah. We'll just do corrections. Yeah. And the correction, like, we'll, we'll just say we're egregious doing a shit. Lot we'll, we'll put them in the comments of the post that offended people. So yeah. It, it, That'd be funny. Weeks later. Correction. Yeah. Uh, no. Correction, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Correction, psych. <laughs> correction, yeah. Please uh, say psych. <laughs> <laughs> oh man alright well this has been the Kokomo Press Podcast this is our first episode back there's a lot of fun moments a lot of goofy stuff a, a, a serious back and forth was it serious? I don't think it was, it was good okay, it's I like it yeah. I think it's important to have debates on podcasts because people want to hear things and like even yeah. if you know different perspectives you know next, the Kokomo perspective next week we're fighting with our dicks yeah let's pull our penises out <laughs> no yeah. next week you guys better find out if you can still suck your own dicks oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Do we really have to talk about this right now? We'll talk this is what we're talking about. For another time. Listen, we all tried it. it. We'll admit it. Time. We all tried it once. Yes. I, okay. Yeah. Some were more successful than others. Some were more successful <laughs> for different there. reasons. Yeah. For different reasons. <laughs> we found out Brian tried but failed. We found out I succeeded, but not because of length, but because of mobility. And we found out Jordan succeeded because it. it's some have, disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, some have disadvantages. <laughs> some have disadvantages. Some people have a uh, severe disadvantage. And uh, Courtney, you said you never tried. I never tried. Never tried to flick the bean with the old tongue by yourself? Yeah. No. I'm sure some girl can do it, right? There's got to be someone out there. Maybe. The Olympics right. are happening right now. So you're <clears throat> probably going to win gold. <laughs> there we go. This has been the Coco Press Podcast. I'm Jordan. I'm Boyan. I'm Hypocrisy. I'm Courtney. I've got you all over. <laughs> we are the Coco Press. We'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. Yeah. Hey.
Hey, you just listened to the Kokomo Press Podcast. We thank you for tuning in. We hope you had a great time. If you did, go ahead and like us, subscribe to us, hit that notification bell, do all the things to help us get seen. Go find us over on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok. Like us, follow us there. And if you want to really, really help us out, we now have a new thing called Facebook subscriptions. It's only $4.99 a month, and it helps us build out even more than what we have already. Helps us get more equipment, helps us put money in the shows, because we give you comedy shows. We give you guys skits. We give you guys podcasts. We give you guys jokes. And if you want to be a part of a group of people that actually get to talk to us and tell us your input first and get to directly speak to us, maybe even you know help us write some of these jokes, you can be a part of the group. Join that subscriber base. It's only four ninety nine a month, and it's not a lot, but it helps us out tremendously. And it's going to give you an opportunity to maybe win some merch here and there. We're going to do a lot of fun things with our subscribers. So please check us out everywhere you can. And if you want to, subscribe to our page. Thanks for listening to this podcast. We love you. Thank you. Two kisses.